Well, because the county initially, when I started working here six, almost six years ago, uh, we didn't have any indoor facilities. So all of our activities were uh, outdoor recreational-based programming, uh, utilizing Marion County Parks, state parks, as well as uh, uh, your federal lands and out in the forest and Ocala National Forest. So um, a lot of the things that we do and we still do are things like uh, interpretive nature hikes, that we usually do a couple of those each month. No one's interpretive. What is that? Uh, we have somebody, a, a guide that goes along and points out things like That's the a history. Butterfly, of, monarch butterfly. Or yeah, that, this, things like or that, yes. Yeah. And uh, basically a little bit of history maybe about the trail that they happen to be on um, and just the history of Marion County and how it relates to that particular park and the trail. So, and, and you know, you see things out there such as the, the trees and the plant life. Like, I was on a hike the other day, and I'm not a real nature person. I like to be outside, but I'm not knowledgeable as some of the people that work with me. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't, uh, one of the ladies that was on the hike pointed out a carnivorous plant to me. So it was, uh, it was really interesting to see. It was the only one we saw on the hike. That was at Marshall Swamp Trailhead. Marshall Swamp. Now, do you go to places like, I was just thinking as you were talking, there's like, like Fort King, the Fort King, the real fort itself, and you mm -hmm. take tours out there because of the rich history they got at Fort King. It's fascinating. Do you do things like that? We haven't done that one just yet. Um, I think but Osceola was there. Osceola, mm -hmm. the, the, the war chief, was there and actually uh, killed a guy right there at Fort King. But that could be an entry. Yeah, most of ours are like where they can actually walk a right. distance, and we tr it's usually about an hour and a half. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, I see what you mean. You mm -hmm. want to go on a tour, of, like. Like, a, like out in the wild. Like, yeah, yeah. Everybody's always hoping they'll yeah, see a yeah. bear or something like that yeah, when they're out there. <laughs> what about Juniper? You ever go out that way? Or? Yes, we have. And out to the springs out in that area. We've done a couple kayaking trips out in, along the run, Juniper Run. And that's that always be been cool. interesting. That would be very cool. It, it is. Kayak, yeah. Kayaking on the Juniper Run would mm -hmm. be cool. You know, people that, it, it's such a interesting you know, wealth of wa wildlife out there, and, and just to look, it's like, you know, there's, in Marion County, like, you can be in town, and one of the neighboring towns would be Bellevue, Denellen, you know, Ocala, but, you know, you're just a, a few minutes away from things that are just so nature-related, and, you know, that's what's great about Marion County, I mean. A lot of variety. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not just, as I said, you know, some competitive sport and other things, like you said, the tours and things of that nature. I'm looking at like the list here about family overnight camp out. That sounds interesting. Carney Island. Tell people about Carney Island. Well, Carney Island is one of our premier parks. It, it provides. Uh, it's, it's, we've got, of course, two lakes uh, run alongside it. Um, you've got Lake Ware and, of course, Little Lake Ware. Um, they both have their own little beach area. We have pavilions for rent uh, out there. There's trails to walk on. Uh, there's actually a nice trail system out there where you can actually break it up into either a one-mile walk or a two-mile walk or a three-mile walk if you want, and it loops around. Um, of course, that's a lot of fishing out there. It's a, a great boat ramp system, and um, it's just a very nice park. Yeah. What well, I want to know about... There's a lot of turkeys out there. Do they really? Yeah. And turkeys, it's not something you see every day. Well, yeah. There's all kinds out there in the morning when yeah. you go out there. Here's what I want to know about... Uh, there's there's some areas around here that um, I'd like to know more about in terms of, especially when you're going on tour or hiking or camping. Aside from the National Forest in Carney Park, what are the areas where you do, you do tours in or where you can go stay for a day or can you camp out overnight, et cetera? What are the areas like that are, exist? Well, I mean, of course, you've got Silver River State Park, and that's not that's one of our county parks, it's a yeah, state park, but that's a beautiful state. park to camp out in overnight. Uh, if you really want a wilderness setting, per se, in uh, a park that's available for the Marion County Park Manages, uh, Gore's Landing. Um, that actually is adjacent and is uh, the Aqualaha River runs along that. And we get a lot of people that really want that outdoor feel out there, um, but there's small, small campsites out there. And uh, as far as another really beautiful park that Marion County manages is, uh, in those, is Horseshoe Lake. So where is that? That's there. actually just north of uh, Fort McCoy, up in the northeast okay. part of the county. Orange Springs, or whatever. Yeah, um, that we out there. We have actually three cabins that we rent, um, and we actually have a larger cabin that's for um, 
that has a large mess hall that can handle large groups. And there's a very, very small lake there, uh, a little beach area, and there's a t- trails that you can walk out there. But it's kind of one of the hidden jewels of Marion County. Yeah, people are right there saying, what are they talking about and how do I find out? So right now, give them the telephone number. So you're saying, hey, I want to know about that. Okay. What is it? If you want more information, on, uh, you can contact our office, which is uh, 352-671-8560. Or you can go to the Marion County website, www.marioncountyfl.org, and um, click on Departments and Parks, and you will find all kinds of information. And you rely a lot on volunteers, I know. I notice you're looking for citizen rangers, coaches, Team moms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Volunteers are always welcome, right? Right. Uh, we utilize volunteers in our outdoor recreation programs. I have a gentleman that's 75 years old, and he's been working with me in our, our kayaking and hiking program. Um, and he, he religiously call him up, and he's there. Um, I've got numerous other people that have been on our hikes, and if I need a guide really quick or want another person to go along on a hike, I can usually call him up and. He shows up and because he's actually walked most of the Florida Trail System in Marion County. But do you guys ask you? Do you go the Greenway? I mean, do you? Yes, we do. About down here, Santos Bike Trail. Do you get involved in that at all? Uh, we haven't done any personally. I have. I mean, I bike that. I hear that's a terrific place. I've never been there. It is, and you need to stop there on the way down. Yeah, people people tell me all the time they come from out of town to go on that yeah. bike trail, and that is eventually you're going to hook up if it doesn't already with the, the Greenway all the way to Silver Springs. Uh. Actually, it may c- it cut in the back side, but, but yeah, it's hopefully it will. I, I can't be, very, I mean, I personally can't tell you for sure how that's going to work that's out. That's what today. I hear. That's what the people mm-hmm. tell me in Silver Springs. Well, it's that great. ultimately will connect to the Santos bike trail. Mm-hmm. So you could actually ride your horse or your bicycle, I guess, from Santos to Silver Springs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I've never been on the Greenway at all. In fact, I don't know much about it. You need to go on one of our hikes. I know, I know. I like to. Uh, just one more thing I want to ask you about the events. This is something little bitty kids, this extravaganza thing. Uh, uh, I think it's March 30th, and it's for little ones and some kind of thing. Oh, that's probably a city event. Okay. We do the fun times. We actually do it with the city of Ocala. Okay, so that's their event. Okay. Yeah, ours is on the backside, but that is one of probably the city of Ocala's yeah. events, and yeah. they run some great programs for the city. So right. you're working together with the city. Of well, we have a great partnership. Uh, we try to not duplicate each other's programs. Uh, and complement each other or right. just compete with well, each other. I tell you this, and I say this every time she's on the program, but it's it rings true every time. I live out in the north end of the county, mm-hmm. out near Citra, and the I've got a deal for you right here. The facilities we have in that end of the county at Wrigley Field are second to none. It's amazing how we have it in that end of the county, Citra. People forget that's part of Marion County. The Wrigley Field, the soccer fields, and the softball and baseball fields, and the football fields, and where the Pop Warner teams can use for cheerleading and everything, and the concession stands are top notch. And people think that the county, you know, uh, county sometimes gives a bad rap for this and that. You know, you you know things aren't up to date and all. But re- as far as parks and recreation go, where I live out at, at Wrigley Field, out in that area, it's top of the line as good as it gets and I appreciate that being a member of the county and using that facility all the time it's very nice well thank you and and I, I you know I'm not saying this because I work for Marion County Parks and Recreation but I you know I've only worked with a, this group for about five and a half years now and you know the parks guys and, and all of us take great pride in what we do uh, we love what we do we love our work and you know, the reason the park looks the way it does is because of the care and, and the ownership that the employees take. The rangers there. are always out there cleaning. They do a great job. They do. They, they police the area. What I like about it is the safety of the area. And I'll tell you this. You, as you know, Wrigley Field has got all the sports fields on one side. And it has, up at the very front of the park, is the play area for children and everything. And there's always a ranger. If there's children up there, even with their parents, there's also a ranger making sure. In this day and age, you have to make sure. But the rangers make sure that a guy like myself, I go to work out there sometimes and walk, but a ranger will ask me what my name is, why, what, how are you doing today, what are you doing, taking advantage of the park, and I understand why, these, why the ranger is doing that, because there may be some predators that aren't supposed to be in that park, and I appreciate mm-hmm. that that's part of what the Parks and Recreation Department has to do as well. Well, thank you. Uh, all right, i got a couple things I want to ask you about. My friend Tom Ingram has been on my case for a year about paddleboard. He wants me to paddleboard. Okay. I'm not too crazy about that. But I see you got a couple of things here on paddleboarding. We're going to take a quick break, come back, 
tell us about the paddleboard, two or three paddleboard events here coming up, uh, which uh, people might want to know about. Big thing, paddleboard is getting bigger all the time. Apparently. It is, it is, and especially along the coastline, uh, both the Gulf and uh, Atlantic side. And so. pickleball? Yes, that's something, well, well you know, we'll I'm, we'll we're not very back. far from the ca- pickleball well, capital of the world. Uh, just down the road. I know nothing <laughs> about that. I will find out about pickleball and paddleboarding. Okay. Coming up next right here on The Voice of Ocala. Stay tuned to 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source. Hi, I'm Lisa Midget with Kinetic Motion Fitness, Ocala's premier small group and personal training fitness studio. Did you know you can achieve all your fitness goals, whether that's losing weight, getting fit, or training for a personal best, all with no membership fees? Have you ever been embarrassed or intimidated at a big gym because you're not a Greek god or a size zero supermodel? Have you ever felt like your gym would rather you not even show up? At KMF, we have a team approach that focuses on small classes and personal training, and you'll feel like family, not just another number. No more boring treadmills or endless reps. Our classes are fun, energetic, and get you the results you want. And I should know, with the help of our great trainers, I lost over 100 pounds in eight jean sizes, and I did it using no heavy equipment and no magic pills, just fun and effective workouts. And yes, I did say fun. Come join us at KMF. Visit our website at kmfocala.com or like us on Facebook. Again, that was kmfocala.com. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. On the next AM Ocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Manisha Thakur. She's on CNN, CNBC. She writes for the Wall Street Journal, and she's coming on our show to speak to us about her book, Get Financially Naked. Open for a debate where you get to choose the topic. And then Brad Borsma and Josh Verdonk will be on the air with their show, Winging It, coming in from Ocala Aviation Flight School. John Sotomayor is the executive editor of Ocala Magazine. He'll be letting us know what's in the new issue of Ocala Magazine on Ocala Magazine Radio. And then Sherry Arison will be with us, ranked by four Forbes magazine is one of the world's most powerful women, and she's coming out to speak about her book, Activate Your Goodness. Dr. Norman Straker is a professor at Wild Cornell College of Medicine and Mount Sinai Medical Center. He'll be speaking about his book, Facing Cancer and the Fear of Death. And then Marilyn Yalom is coming on, a professor of French. Her book, How the French Invented Love, 900 Years of Passion and Romance. All of that, plus fun with Joe on the next day. I'm Ocala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. Hello, this is Dr. Riyad Fakuri, chiropractic orthopedist at the Fakuri Medical and Chiropractic Center. Listen in to the Head to Toe Care Show every Wednesday, 11 a.m., right here on WOCA. Learn how your body works so that you can help yourself. We're available to answer your questions every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on WOCA, The Source. That's Dr. Riyad Fakuri on the Head to Toe Care Show every Wednesday, 11 a.m., right here on WOCA, The Source. Sears March Madness Savings. Sears. Extra savings on apparel. Sears. Extra savings on appliances. Sears. Extra savings on TVs and electronics. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on fine jewelry. Sears. Extra savings on tools, grills, and patio. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on tractors and mowers. Sears. Extra savings on mattresses. Oh, Sears. Special Sunday hours, March 10th, for the family and friends sale, 6 to 9 p.m. Sears. That's Sunday, March 10th, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Paddock Mall. Only at Sears. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala, live from the Country Club of Ocala. A quick update on the Central Florida, College of Central Florida basketball score. 
what was once a four point lead, Keith Chartrand and Sinis, is now with, with 13 minutes left, is now 76, 79, 62, a 17 point CF lead with five and a half minutes left to go in the game. CF up by 17 with a little over five minutes to go in their opening game at the state tournament. Now back to Buddy Martin. All right, thank you, Tom. And it looks like CF pulling away. Our guest is Kathy Norris. A few more minutes. Had a couple of questions to ask about before we start with the pickleball paddleboarding. I uh, see a couple of events here. Stand up paddling. You've got one, and also at Rainbow River, there's a paddling uh, paddleboard uh, thing. Well, tell us about paddleboard. The popularity of that. There's even a workshop next month. Right. Well, paddleboard is is basically it, it's um, it's just a large kayak kind of flat or a surfboard if you want to say it's like standing on a surfboard yeah, so but, yeah and it's a little bigger a little more stable uh, at least the ones we have are and you basically you have a long paddle well, you know and you it's similar paddling like you do a canoe and you just stand up it's a great core activity it gets you know you think of it just getting your upper arm and your uh, arms because of the paddling portion but you're actually trying to balance on it so you're getting shifting your weight all the time and so the, the muscles that you're uh, working on are your legs and and your uh, all the way up to your top of your cardio, arms. I guess, though. It can be if you want to really paddle fast or go well, upstream. Just blow along. <laughs> yeah, and we actually do lessons out to Kearney Island. Uh, we will start them up again in April mainly because we wait for the water to get a little warmer and the air to be warmer. And then we do some outings on the Rainbow River, uh, putting in a KP and just being able to go down straight down the river. And the nice thing about it is, is that you can see so much underwater. If the water's clear, isn't that great? It gives you a great view and perspective around you. You don't have that kind of clear river in rain. No, you do. well, I don't know, but I mean, really, you know, like you know. <laughs> that's a little bit funny. It's too cold to get in. Put yeah. it that way. <laughs> no, it's nice in Maine. Uh, all right, so Beth Paddleboard, a couple of events there to look forward to. If you don't know how, there's a, April first. There's a kayak paddleboard workshop. Maybe I should go to that. Check it out. So Come on, that, and that'll be going on. Um, this is from ages eight to sixteen. Can I sneak in? You think? Yeah, uh, but we also have them for adults too. Okay. All right, so what is pickleball? Come on, I've been hearing about pickleball, pickleball, pickleball. What is, what is pickleball, and why is it so big around here? Well, of course, it's very big in the villages, and that's probably, there. I think they're referred to as probably the pickleball capital of the world right now. Um, but it's the nice thing about pickleball is it's, you know, it's uh, unlike tennis, you're running all over court and whatever. You play on a smaller court, uh, so it requires some pretty quick reflexes, more to say. You play with a ball that looks like a giant, well, not giant, but like a wiffle ball with holes in it, you know, like you would go out and play baseball with. What do you hit it with? Uh, it's a paddle. It's a, It could be made of anything from a composite, uh, plastic. Uh, usually most people, the original ones, were made of wood. Um, no, it's bigger than It's probably about twice the size of, yeah. uh, you know, the old paddle ball or racquetball. Right, it's about right, the size right. of that. Right. Um, over a net. Solid, yeah, it's solid, and you play over a net. And it's, it's just, a I mean... Thing. A pickleball court, you probably can get almost two courts on the size of a tennis court, per se, okay. right, if, depending on how you situate them. Okay. And you, it looks exactly like a mini tennis court, and it has some certain rules. You play usually, I think it is the 15, but I might be wrong. I've, I mean, I've played pickleball before. Um, I don't get a lot of time to play it, but uh, and you, most people play doubles, but you can play singles, and it's just a nice, fast-paced game. I mean, but it can be, you get a lot of exercise, believe me, from it. You know, not to disparage anybody, but I don't think being pickleball capital of the world is something that attract that many. <laughs> I'm sure it's a wonderful game. I might even play it, but this thing, pickleball capital of the world. Well, you would never play a game like that. What do you mean I wouldn't play a game like that? Are you, are you kidding me? I was a ping pong champion, too. Well, I'll just remember that. We had some of us that had some closet pickleball players in Old Cali, yeah. because we actually had a gentleman that came about a year and a half to my office and wanted yeah. to, and that's before we even had put lines on one of our courts. And, of course, we talk about pickleball because we do have a line court at Cohadjo. Pickleball ringers. Wow. Kathy Norris from the Marion County Recreation Department. Great stuff, Kathy. Uh, have a have a great weekend, and thanks for coming in and sharing. So thanks for inviting us. the telephone number. Let's give it to them. Our number is 352-671-8560. Before they log on, though, to uh, www.marioncountyfl.org, and the whole lot of stuff's on this list, and uh, it's, it's worthwhile. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate Thank you. that. All right, we are coming up on the first hour. Coming up next hour, Laurie Martin Greg will be joining us talking about chickens, yeah. And we'll keep you updated on the score as see uh, lots more to come your way right here on the Voice of Ocala. So stay tuned to 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source.
situations got you down? Are you at your wit's end? Does the opposite sex just confuse you? Then I've got the solution for you, Dr. Buddy. Well, let me just tell you what you slugs are doing wrong. Remember, dummy, it's about the chase and the romantic interludes, okay? Now, here's the difference. Instead of dinner and a movie, which seems obsolete these days, uh, they have these, these random phone texts, Facebook posts, instant message, and quote-unquote non-dates. Traditional courtship, which is still what women want, guys. Picking up a telephone, asking someone on a date, maybe even going as far to pick them up in your car, mm-hmm. requires courage, strategic planning, and a considerable investment in ego. So now you know where to tune in to get all your relationship advice. It's the Dr. Buddy Show every Monday on The Voice of Ocala. You can succeed only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics. Do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. I want to tell you about a conversation I had recently with General Manager Pat Murray on the great family atmosphere at Country Club of Ocala. It's a family first club. Um, again, we you know we 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 have any number of different types of memberships, but obviously the the, the one that attracts the greatest level of interest is our family. And the reason for that is we have a little bit of something for everybody. I mean, we have we obviously have a world class golf course. Um, we have uh, seven tennis courts here for all levels of uh, tennis players. We have a junior Olympic sized swimming pool. We have the uh, we have a fitness center that's that's second to none, and we have uh, state of the art equipment in our fitness center. Country Club of Ocala, where the facilities are all a family would ever need. For more information, call today at 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of Monday's Gator Report and Gator Talk Thursday right here on The Source. In Clark, we trust. Hi, this is Clark Howard. Join me every weeknight at 6, right here on WOCA 1370, The Source. Look who just walked in the room, Joe Wiesner from What's Up Ocala. Hey, Joe, I'm looking for something to do this weekend. You got any ideas? Absolutely. Check out our event calendar online at www.whatsupocala.com, and there is plenty of events there for you. Daily news updates to event reviews and magazine articles. Really? We've organized it all in one place online for you to cut through all of the hassle of finding something to do this weekend. We have a daily event calendar, a bi-monthly magazine, and we also do daily news articles. All right, Joe, that's perfect. Thanks so much. Yeah. Whatsupocala.com what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. People who were considered overweight felt pain 20% more often than those whose weight was normal. And the heavier somebody was, the more often they hurt. If a person posts more than five photos of themselves, odds are they're self-absorbed and not ready to be in a committed 50-50 relationship. Write down your dream job recipe, like a company that offers flex time or you want a position with room to grow, and then focus your search on jobs that match your wish list, your recipe. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223 and pick up your copy of The Senior's Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to Sticker Shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding less proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Hello? Can you hear me? Because if you can, then so can your customers. Radio works. Call today to advertise your business right here on WOCA 1370, The Source. 
You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Now, I'm Daria Albinger. Ever gotten a spam text? The FTC is charging 29 of the biggest offenders, which put consumers at risk of identity theft. Most ask you to input personal information to get the so-called free offers. The FTC says you should never do that. Just when you thought it was safe to go on spring break or to let your kids go, more than 15,000 sharks have been spotted in the waters off Florida. Most were less than 200 feet from shore. Some beaches have closed them to swimming. If you're traveling to Washington, D.C. instead, you might want to skip a visit to the Washington Monument because you're not going to see much of it. Workers today started building scaffolding around the 555-foot-tall obelisk. They'll begin repairing the damage from the 2011 earthquake. The doctor may not see you now, but she will e- email you. A survey in conjunction with drug maker GlaxoSmithKline finds that that's how most younger adults would like to talk to their physician. This is ABC News. Most of the time it's simple. I run my business, pay the bills, get on with my life. But when tax time sneaks up on me, questions start coming in the middle of the night. What else should I be doing about deductions and expenses? How can I tell what kind of shape my business is really in? And why does it feel like every year at tax time, I have to start the process from scratch? It doesn't make sense. I wish I knew someone who could really understand my financial situation. Someone I could trust who will care as much about my business as I do and be there all year round. Maybe then I could get that good night's sleep. A CPA spends years preparing for moments just like these. When the right tax and financial advice is essential, talk to someone with an unmatched level of knowledge, experience, and education. Talk to a CPA. Visit 360taxes.org for information and to find a CPA in your area. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs Private Companies Practice Section. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like, if I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know? Like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry, we didn't leave you. He's gone? He's not gone? That's the whole point! He's never gone! Our bosses say we gotta stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. hoo You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on, stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. All right, welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. We're live at the Country Club of Ocala. Beautiful day out here. A few golfers passing by and the carts getting their practice rounds in. We're trying to see if we can scare up Daniel Owen and maybe Steve Albright. Daniel's got a terrific story. We alluded to it yesterday. I guess we can share a little bit of it about somebody from Ocala who actually owns a green jacket from Augusta National belonging to Art Wall, who won it in 1959. How he got that according to the story we read was he bought it from somebody at an auction and of course how the auctioneer got it was somebody apparently stole it so Augusta folks not too happy about those kind of things think about this Augusta is a place they don't like for you to mess with one blade of grass on their golf course let alone steal one of their green jackets and I can tell you this much if they find out who it was they will be prosecuted you can bet on that for sure final score Tom see how paid you advanced yeah, it looked, looked like it was pretty easy to 90 to, I believe it was 90 to 77, 90 to 72. 90 to 77. 90 to 77. Rodell Wigington got 20 for the Patriots. A 17 to 5 run in the second half triggered the victory. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, good job for uh, Keith Sharchan to stand on top of that. At 5 o'clock, we'll have the head coach of the Patriots calling in from Chipola. Uh, coach Jim Ryan will give us the details. And they, I guess they played down the winner of Northwest Florida and Palm Beach. Northwest Florida is going to be a tough game. Yeah. Yeah, it will be, it will be a tough game because basically it's a home game for Northwest Florida up there. That's exactly what Tim Rhymes always talked about. It's how it's such a disadvantage to go play up at Chipola because of Northwest Florida and Chipola both being pretty much being home games for them. Yeah, that's the show. Meanwhile, down in Miami, they got a good one going. Good-looking leaderboard down there. You don't like this leaderboard. I do. Freddie Jacobson, Frederick Jacobson, Dustin Johnson, both at six under. And then there he is, Eldrick Tiger Woods at five under. 
Luke Donald showing up. There. Hunter Mahan at five under. Sergio Garcia signed. Oh, my gosh. There's a guy. Steve there. Stricker at five under. The good players are coming out now. They're getting serious. Ian Poulter, Graham McDowell, Bubba Watson, Phil Mickelson, all at four under. Hunter Mahan just holds out about a 30-footer. He'd go one more shot up. So Hunter Mahan's met. That was the same par, I think. Uh, was it? So yeah. six under. Right. He, he's been at six under. I right, watch the Tiger right now. So good looking Tiger at the well, Hunter Mayhem just went to six under. That's that's saying, yeah. yeah. And Tiger's right behind him at five under. So and oh my god, Tiger may go to six him. under. He just hit it with a foot. Tiger's got. You know who was it? Our boy Pingalore said, "I'm all over Tiger." Remember? He said that he talked to Tiger swing coach, and they said it was all there. Matt's about the six inches in between his two ears. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, so beautiful shot to show on the aerial shot now. This is the Tiger we remember, who could hit his stiff, you know? He had had issues of distance control for so long, so many times. If he ever gets that back, and of course we have the putts have got to drop. Did you find out if Teddy Potter was in this thing or not? It's not in the field. It's, oh, it's a World Golf Championship. Yeah, but if he was ranked in the top, if he was ranked in the top uh, of the rankings, but he's yeah, not but in the That might be top 60 or something, is it? He's, he's not right now to get in there. Work off championships. They have a cutoff, I think. We'll find out. There. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I'll be headed out tonight to a Silver Springs meeting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to remain optimistic, although I'm certainly still not happy with the inactivity and the lack of information we're getting from the state and no clear, um, no, no clear cut agenda on what's going to happen now that Silver Springs is going to be cleaned up and what will happen to it next? And will locals have any input into that? And certainly, I spent enough time having meetings here. My question is: Has this been a dog and pony show, like we heard yesterday from City Councilman John McLeod, or does it really make any difference? You know, that we go out to these meetings and listen, and talk, and give people ideas. So it's going to be an interesting next couple of months, and, and see whether or not the locals can shake the tree up in Tallahassee and get some coconuts to fall out. I think that there's some people in Tallahassee, and this is strictly me speculating, but I, you know, if you think of it in a po political terms, I think there's some people in Tallahassee that in the last uh, few months have seen the excitement of the locals about saving Silver Springs and everything, and somebody in Tallahassee said, whoa, hey, hey, maybe there's some money to be made down there. Maybe we ought to start thinking about... Uh, how much cash can be made on this? They keep telling us what a gym it is. Well, maybe, maybe we don't want to turn it over to them. Maybe we need to keep that cash cow up here in our control. I'm not sure what goes on there, but uh, the, as a matter of fact, what I'm really worried about is is them saying that it needs to be a passive stake park where all you have is just a recreational facility and a boat ride. That is such a huge economic engine for our county that I'm not saying we should turn it into you know what it was with Palace, or it should become the next Disney World. I'm just saying it's a terrific venue. You know how I feel about it. I've said a hundred times, Mr. Gorbachev turned down that wall. They are tearing the wall down, and they are going to refurbish it and and, and get clean it up. And uh, the DEP has promised, and the, and the, the four million dollars uh, they got from Palace, uh, a large chunk will go toward cleaning it up. But I don't think they're being transparent. I don't think the people in the state capital being transparent. And I think Silver Springs is a different kind of place. It's not your average, everyday state park. You tell me, you went to state parks, is there anything out there like Silver Springs? No. 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 And everybody, everybody's quick to say, oh, but Ra Rainbow Springs is not Silver Springs. Sorry. Rainbow Springs is no. a very nice state park. Yeah. It's not Silver Springs. Now, that was like saying Disney World's the same as Bush Gardens. And it's not. No. Bush Gardens is a nice place. Don't get me wrong. I love Bush Gardens. I like going to Bush Gardens. But if you gave me my choice that I could go to one or the other without paying money, I'm going to Disney World every sure, time. For sure. So if you gave me the choice of Silver Springs or Rainbow Springs, if Silver Springs is put back the way it was when I was a child, and I remember it that way, I'd go to Silver Springs every time over Rainbow Springs. For sure. All right, I want to remind folks, I um, appreciate Kathy Norris dropping by out here. Uh, she wants to remind them for kids, eight, three to five, and there's always people looking for things for kids. There is a brown bag of bunny brunch. No time you can't go. It's Friday, March 15th at the Freedom Public Library on 95th and Ocala. And also on the Brick City Adventure Park on March 18th. It's obviously a little fun time for, they call it a hopping good time, crafts, games, cookie decorating, pizza, Easter egg contest by Mr. Bunny. Are you going to be out there as Mr. Bunny? I'm not going to be out there as Mr. Yeah. Bunny. 
It's eleven dollars includes one child adult. Mr. Bunny, Doctor Bunny, that sounds close. No, I think so. I think this is something you should check out. All right, all right. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll catch up on the news here and let you know what's happening at Doral. We're live at the Country Club Vocal on a beautiful March afternoon, and you're listening to us right here on thirteen seventy AM, ninety six point three FM, streaming live at WOCA dot com. The source. Every day we hear another story about innovation or about cutting edge technology taking place right here in Ocala. The power plant, IHMC, Ocala 489. Did you know that important medical research is also being conducted here that may impact hundreds of thousands of people in the country someday? Maybe you've heard the name Renstar, but like so many others, perhaps you didn't realize that Renstar Medical Research is one of the top facilities of its kind anywhere in the U.S. There are important research studies being conducted by a highly qualified team of medical experts at Renstar in Impacting decisions of major pharmaceutical companies and bringing new drugs to market. And you can be a part of these studies, as so many local people have done and are currently doing. Renstar has conducted more than 500 studies since its inception and would like to extend the opportunity to you to be a part of these cutting-edge programs. Call 877-629-5800 or 352-629-5800 if you'd like to know more. Renstar Medical Research, locally owned and operated in beautiful downtown Ocala. Renstar, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Hello, I'm Dawn Lovell, lead event designer and owner at Party Time Rentals. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make an event spectacular? Well, look no further. It's what we do every day. Whether you're hosting an intimate dinner for 10 or a gala for thousands, at Party Time Rentals, we find just the right style and elegance to make your event a success. Our extensive inventory of the finest in chandeliers, tents, crystal, china, and specialty items is featured in our fabulous showroom. Stop by and say hello. It's a great way to get ideas for an event and experience for yourself how you can make your party time special. Party Time Rentals, located on Southwest 10th Street, just off Route 200 in Ocala, and off Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. For more information, call 352-629-8858. That's 352-629-8858. The party begins at party time. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new old-fashioned bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Hey, I'm Ocala Live. Robin and I will be speaking to Manisha Thakur. She's on CNN, CNBC. She writes for the Wall Street Journal. And she's coming on our show to speak to us about her book, Get Financially Naked. Open for a debate where you get to choose the topic. And then Brad Borsma and Josh Verdunk will be on the air with their show, Winging It, coming in from Ocala Aviation Flight School. John Sotomayor is the executive editor of Ocala Magazine. He'll be letting us know what's in the new issue of Ocala Magazine on Ocala Magazine Radio. And then Sherry Arison will be with us, ranked by Forbes Magazine is one of the world's most powerful women, and she's coming on to speak about her book, Activate Your Goodness. Dr. Norman Straker is a professor at Wild Cornell College of Medicine and Mount Sinai Medical Center. He'll be speaking about his book, Facing Cancer and the Fear of Death. And then Marilyn Yalom is coming on, a professor of French. Her book, How the French Invented Love, 900 Years of Passion and Romance. All of that, plus fun with Joe on the next day. I'm Alcala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. This is Wendy and Will of Dex Imaging. By now, you might be tired of hearing us talk about Dex. So instead of us telling you how much Dex can save you on your copier costs and how we can help your office be more efficient, we thought we'd let Judy tell you. Hi, I'm Judy, the office manager of Graper Facial Institute here in Gainesville. We operate eight medical offices, so I was looking for a document management system that would copy, scan, print, and share documents among all of our locations with something that was within our budget. Dex Imaging recommended a Kyocera with their index solution. It's been amazing. Amazing! This machine does everything we need it to, including a direct scan into our current electronic medical record software. Dex even trained us on how to use it. Dex has been a tremendous help in making our practice and my job more efficient. Thanks, Judy. And remember, call Dex Imaging today for a free workflow analysis to find out how you can save 20 to 30% on your copying and document management needs, just like Great Professional Institute. Dex Imaging, 352-224-1816. That's 224-1816. You got kids that taste like honey And I got a little bit of money Tonight, tonight, baby, we're drinking Let's wait Hey, welcome.
welcome back to the Voice of Ocala on a beautiful Thursday at Country Club of Ocala. You know, if you're out here long enough, somebody important finally shows up. And, uh, you know, Tom, the Marion County Golf of the Year is in the house, you know. Uh, and uh, I know I wrote about him in my article last month in the, uh, you know, so they started the neighborhood bother. publication. They started to bother me whenever he's thanking you for what you wrote. I'm thinking, I'm, well, who you know, wrote it? Tom is really going to be, Tom is going to be just hard to handle that. Well, why, why should it be such a difficult thing? He thanked me for writing the truth about him. Okay, enough about you. Let's talk about Steve Albright. <laughs> How are you, Steve? Good, fellas. How are you guys? Nice doing? to have you back on the show again. And what's it like out there today? It's great. Our golf course uh, is really good right now. Uh, we've got a new superintendent. He's up been on the job a week. Uh, Jason Regan from Ocala Municipal. Uh, so he turned it around in a week? Well, <laughs> the course has been in good shape, but yeah, he's no. been on the job a week, yeah. and it is spectacular. Uh, greens are running as fast as they ever right have. Right now they're going to be like a 12, don't they? They're quick. Uh, Jason is out here. Jason Regan. You here. have stole a good one Amen, right there. brother. We are so excited he about it. He turned Muni around. He made Muni a great golf course. And now to be out here, you've got a top-notch green screen. Yeah, you got to know for your up. golf here at Collin next time. You have to come out here and talk. Well, I'm good you friends with Jason, so I can come talk well, to Jason. How come he's such a good friend of he's working out here? Huh? Yeah. I, well, I haven't seen Jason since the whole, <laughs> okay. just, I just seen Jason since the whole debacle that happened. Just, second, yeah, right. we'll, we'll just leave. We'll, well, we'll not talk about that. We are thrilled to have him here. Uh, you know, he's been out of town. We're having to commute out of town down to Boca Raton, and so it's good to have him back here, have his family stabilized. Yeah. So it's worked out for everybody. So, so now, this is member guest. Member guest. And uh, you have a guest, right? I brought in a ringer from Sea Island. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Zito here from Ocala. You don't need a ringer, Steve. You're playing good enough without a ringer. I like to have a ringer. And yeah. he's a good one. <laughs> you see how big and strong he is. We're going to have him on just a second later. Yeah. Let's talk about golf around here, which I big, a nice tournament out in, or down in Miami right now. Absolutely. Good leaderboard. Tigers right. making the move. Hunter May hands on top there. Uh, a lot of good names on the board, which is what the PGA Tour needs right now. So, Absolutely. It's a marquee, you know? Absolutely. So, uh, Got Roy McIlroy. Yeah. He will stick around the whole tournament. He made a, <laughs> he made a mistake, which you apologize for. He handled it great. Yeah. He did a good job with that. Yeah. It is good to see. Um, you know, whatever you think about Tiger uh, off the golf course, it's good to have. Oh him. yeah, he's got to yeah. be in there. Absolutely. Oh, he's a guy everybody wants to watch. I think Nicholson. You love to see those two. Yeah. Together, so that's what we said the other day. What's golf missing? And we said. Tiger and Mickelson playing kind of play going head to head. I agree. Missing, you know? And a Bubba Watson, what a great flair he has. Yeah, he's going to play, play well today, right. too. Yeah, so, Bubba is playing well today. Uh, all right, so, so, do you ever walk off a golf course? <sighs> you know, I don't recall ever having done you it. You I, I know I felt like doing yeah, it. In yeah. fact, I, and I remember, I'll just give you a club championship about six years ago. Uh, storm was moving in we got to the second hole we had played the back nine first and i hit i want to say i hit five shots out of bounds as soon as i hit my sixth ball in play the weather the horn went off and we had to go wait inside for an hour and a half saved you and then i had to go back out there to finish my 17 or whatever it was on the second hole saved by the horn <laughs> no well i had to but I mean, think otherwise, you just didn't walk. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You walk, but you were legal. It was legal. That's walk. exactly right. So. All right, so I'm going to guess, before we get your guests on, the the, the, the the scene, the local golf scene, Tom wrote about the top players, who he thought was the best ones. You, of course, mentioned in there. Uh, uh, we have other names that we'll talk about a little later on. But now, <clears throat> what events are you up for? We know the camp and all the other. What are the big three or four events for you every year? Well, um, Married Masters. Married Masters. All the local, you know, there's the Memorial Tournament here yeah. this year. Uh, there is the Country Club of uh, Ocala Invitational. There's the Camp. There's the Marion Masters, the Pine Oaks Invitational. Silver Spring Shores has a good Labor Day Classic. They have um, a great Labor Day Classic. Really good <laughs> tournament. It's a nice tournament. Um, I'm sure I'm leaving something else out. Well, how many of those have you won? Three or four? I have, I have won, I think, all of them except for the camp. The camp is my nemesis. You know, I'm all over the camp. So he's the champs. You need really, the yeah. camps in what, uh, eight, yeah. seven weeks? The last no. full weekend of last April. Last weekend of April. All right, I'm going to help you out, and I'm going to let you guess. Get on. Okay. Go talk to Bo Williams. Get a little, you know, a little history going on there. <laughs> I actually saw Bo play in that camp and won it a few times. I have, and, too. Uh, and uh, you know, and he didn't play that much golf. He go out there and he was just seventy one, seventy, you know, whatever. And he did whatever it took to win. He, he did so good. He was the ultimate competitor. Yeah. So uh, let's get your guest on here while you and Tom visit. And uh, I'm a I, my, I'm, I have a fondness for the camp simply because I get my golf cart. It, it's it's one of the few tournaments that has quality, great golf, and it has the ability for 
the average person to reserve a golf cart and go out watching exactly. great golf. Exactly. And and we have a great mix of the local good golfers, but we have statewide. We have University of Florida players. Uh, it's a great mix. Certainly. Now, why don't you tell us who, who this ringer is you brought with you today? Mike Zito. Most the golf community knows who Mike Zito is. Mike um, grew up here. He's a little bit older than I am. And uh, he played football at Mars Hill. So he's in his late 30s then. That's Look exactly that. right. <laughs> so, very a standout football player. Didn't really start playing golf until what age, Mike? Uh, 26. 26 years old. He uh, obviously very good athletically. He's a scratch golfer. He lives at Sea Island, plays with many of the top tour guys, buddies with a lot of them. And David Bob. Well, David not a, sea Island's not a bad place to live. No, it's beautiful up there. It's beautiful. I've... I, 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 Group. My formative years were in Statesboro, Georgia, so I know the area real well. Mm -hmm. And Sea Island and Jekyll Island, two of the nicest islands that you'll ever be a part of in that part of South Georgia. It really is beautiful up there. I mean, we have, uh, you know, it's really laid back. It's uh, it used to be like Ocala was 30 years ago. Um, just, just so laid back, and that's that's what we love about it up there. Have you got a chance? Just selfishly, I want to ask this: Have you got a chance to go play the? New golf, I'd say it's new, it's probably 10 years old now. They built out in the Savannah River right across from River Street in, in Savannah. It's a western, I guess. Is Are you talking about Savannah Harbor where yeah. they're playing the senior? Right. Yeah, I've I've been up there a couple times. Um, Pretty nice track. Huh? It's beautiful up there, yeah. Savannah is a beautiful, historical, uh, nice destination to go to. We think about, Steve, how, how much great golf we have in this area because we have, within a 25-mile radius, I can think of, 20 golf courses that are championship quality, right. nice golf course. Right. But that still wouldn't mean I wouldn't like to live in Hilton Head oh, and for you sure. know, Sea Island right around that area. Well, what, what we have, in addition to that, is affordability. I mean, you can't play the caliber of golf we have for as cheap as you can, I think, anywhere in the country. No, no, I you mean, can't. For pick, sure. You, you have to, if you're going to play in Sea Island or at Jekyll Island, the Jekyll Island Club, or you're going to go play Hilton Head National, any of those clubs, Bring your wallet. Bring yeah. your wallet. That's right. <laughs> well, Jekyll Island's a little bit more affordable up there. I think you can get out there pretty, uh, you know, without right. it getting into your wallet too deep. But you go to play Sea Island, it's it's going uh, to... You go play the dunes over in Hilton Head, it, it'll set you back a little bit. Go. Yeah. You know what? I've, you know, I've, I've lived there. Uh, I, I moved uh, from Ocala back in uh, 90, got married to Debbie Sable. And we moved there, and, um, you know, I took up golf when we got there, but... Um, it's 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 hard for me to go anywhere else and play because the golf courses there are just always in pristine condition, mm -hmm. and and on our little island it's it's probably uh, four by ten uh, miles for for the width and the, the length is four by ten. But um, there's we have seven golf courses on that island. Yeah. And um, so you know top notch everyone. Oh uh, yeah. I Such mean, a tough know, place to live. Yeah. He figured it out. Yeah. He figured it out. Uh, be, so. Now, you're talking about how great a shape the course is out here today. It's March. A lot of places are having transition problems. That doesn't look, I walked out today and looked around. It doesn't look like transition yeah. is a problem at all. We're still a month away, I think, from, from the transition. They're starting. Uh, right. for, with the heat we've had, the heat, you know, on and off heat and then cold, some of the greens have lost some of that overseed. So they're starting. But right now, that's fine. I mean, they just roll them and they roll them. Good. That's right. He's been verticutting and top dressing lightly. So well, we got yeah. about a minute left. Who do you see shaping up out there in the member guests this weekend? I like as the competition against because because I I know Steve Albright likes to win, I and do. so he brings in a man from Sea Island. He didn't bring him in <laughs> to finish in the middle of the pack. So. Who besides the Albright team is going to be some competition out here this week? Well, weekend? our whole flight is stacked. Uh, we were just looking at it. We've got DeSantis Heiss is a good one. Yep. Uh, we avoided the, the Dorman Ramos team and the Owen James Ware team. They're in a flight below us somehow. Somehow. So we we'll, Brent Norman and Daniel Owen got in the lower flight. Lower yeah. flight. Does that make sense to you? Didn't that me? sounds like some home that's cooking. A little fishy to me. <laughs> that looks like some home <laughs> that's cooking. That's, cool. that's kind of what we're Aren't you the member here? Exactly. <laughs> I have a little issue with that, but that's all right. We're well, going to have fun. It's going to be a great weekend to golf out here at Country Club of Ocala. As always, it's always I, – I get out here sometimes uh, – Mr. Jenkins allows a friend of mine, Brent Wood, and I to get yeah, out here and play yeah. some golf every now and then. So we get out here every yeah. now and then. Glad to. And we actually are probably the reason the greenskeepers have to repair things out here because <laughs> we're that bad. But well, <laughs> well, we sure appreciate you all continuing to cover the local golf scene. It's uh, 
things you know you all doing this helps to make it even better. So we really appreciate it. I I would put the local golf scene in Ocala up against the local golf scene non professional. Because the professionals in Sea Island do. But non professional, I'd put the amateurs in the Ocala area up against the amateurs anywhere else. Oh, yeah. And I think that we Ocala would hold its own, I, without a doubt. Well I'll tell you that um you know, I come down we, we don't have this in, in on Saint Simon, so I, I usually come down for some of the same tournaments that Steve has won. Um, just because of the competition and the, the level of, of players they got here, this is, uh, I mean, I, and I love coming back home, so uh, I agree with you there. Not a bad place to call home. No, sir. Amen. No, sir. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, Tom. Let y'all get to the event you got going on. All right. Appreciate all y'all do. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Yep. Buddy, I guess coming up now, we got uh, Lloyd Martin Gregory after the break, so we'll let Buddy get his headsets on, say his farewell to these two gentlemen. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Lori Martin Gregory, Healthy Living, next on The Voice of Ocala, live from the Country Club of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where visitors are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. Call your good neighbor's State Farm agent today, Angie Lewis, at 294-2444. Recently, I had a great conversation with General Manager Pat Murray on the special events at Country Club of Ocala. We have a lot of uh, events, special events here that are that are geared towards the family. Uh, Easter comes to mind. We have uh, an Easter bunny who pops around on the driving range, and we usually hide somewhere in a boat of 3,000 eggs and, 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 and turn them loose and let them go harvest the eggs. We have a great family celebration here on the 4th of July where it's, it's a traditional cookout, if you will, and as the, as the sun goes down, the driving range becomes alive with uh, probably one of the better fireworks displays in the, in the area. Uh, Breakfast with Santa is a Big, is a big deal. Country Club of Ocala, where the Easter Bunny, Santa, and all the children, large and small, are a big deal on every special occasion. For more information, call 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of the Bundy Gator Report, right here on The Source. Black Cow, the mature manure black cow. With all the hard work you put into your lawn and garden, it just makes good sense to use the best products you can buy, like Black Cow Composted Cow Manure. Use it with new landscape plants and trees, flower beds and vegetable gardens, or use it as a top dressing for your lawn. Black Cow is organic, all natural. Look for the bright yellow and black bag. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. Sears March Madness Savings. Sears. Extra savings on apparel. Sears. Extra savings on appliances. Sears. Extra savings on TVs and electronics. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on fine jewelry. Sears. Extra savings on tools, grills, and patio. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on tractors and mowers. Sears. Extra savings on mattresses. Uh, Sears. Special Sunday hours, March 10th, for the family and friends sale, 6 to 9 p.m. Sears. That's Sunday, March 10th, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Paddock Mall. Only at Sears. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. They've served our country. They've kept us free. And they need your help. 
We're sitting in Veterans Park. You can't sit here not realizing that you're surrounded by heroes. There are a lot of heroes in our community. A lot of heroes, unfortunately, are not in good financial shape. They're hurting both physically and financially. We step in and help directly. Our role is to reach out to them. We're there to help the veterans. We do counseling. We do outreach. Sometimes it's just coming into the office and sitting down and saying, hey, I've got a problem, and you're talking to another veteran who understands that problem. Everybody who works for the Vets Helping Vets are awesome, and they are so kind to everybody. They're like my second family. They really are. They have been there during the holidays. I have gotten unexpected visits, assistance. Vets Helping Vets of Marion County needs your help. Call today, 352-433-2320, and pledge your support to Vets Helping Vets of Marion County. It really has been a blessing. W-O-C-A! All right, welcome back. We're live with Country Club Vocal. Terrific day out here at the club. This is the golfers getting ready for the practice round. Just had a nice visit with Steve Albright and his guests, the member guests out here, and uh, we'll be talking to the, the other folks here as we go through the day. Meanwhile, back in the studio, Laurie Martin Gregory has landed, and uh, she wants to talk about, uh, I guess, some chickens. Is that right, Laurie? I do. I do want to talk about chickens. I'm going to talk about chickens. I'm going to talk about cultures. And sounds like you guys are having a great time out there at the club. And I know golf is certainly one way to spend time outdoors. But I'm going to talk a little bit about chickens and how you can spend some time outdoors doing some other things. Well, Lori, before we get started on that, I, I have to protect you, as it were, uh, and let you know. I'm sure you already know, but we need to let JJ LaSalva know that. Uh, the Mindy Project has been picked up for a second season. Oh, wait. Can we just make that, ex just sort of let those words sort of expand into the air a little bit? This is uh, right. the same J.J. LaSalva that swore, I think, on his blood that last week that Mindy Project was going to be axed. Wasn't that the same J.J. LaSalle? Oh, I just said it seems like one of those shows oh, that would I'm be I'm sorry. Asked. I hear I, some backpedaling. I don't know. No, I'm not, def I'm not defending <laughs> me saying it should be canceled. Pedals I still think going it backwards. probably should be canceled. Haven't even watched it. I know. That's exactly why. You know, I just want to say, enough. when J.J. gets on board in the second season, I'm not even going to say I told you so. I'm just going to sit back with my arms folded and gloat. Well, you don't have to say I told you so. That'll be my job. <laughs> Still the best show on television, you know Mindy it's Project. Not on, like, uh, Hulu Plus or any of those yet, is it? Because I don't, oh. I don't have any way of actually watching Have you actually started long. looking no. for it? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. no. Well, Mindy if you have a way to look, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's on regular television. Let's just get it out there right now. JJ hates everything on television, but MMA and soccer. Although he likes Downton Abbey, so go figure. That's true. So you know, I'm just that was, telling that was you. Just a ringer. Well, I just wanted to bring that up right away, Lori, to let you know that it's been picked <laughs> up for a side. It certainly a has. Topic. And if you're if you haven't seen it, Tuesday nights, nine thirty, following the new girl, Mindy Project, best show on TV, absolutely hilarious. So catch it if you can. Wasn't on this week because of uh, American Idol, but I believe it will be back on next week. Chickens. Okay, chickens. Well, I know you guys are out there. First of all, let me just say I have a golfer who's chomping at the bit to get into this tournament for next year. His initials are GG, and he's... Well, all he has to do is become a member at the country club, and oh, he can have all. a guest out, and, you know. Or that's your friend, oh, Daniel Owens, not even a member here. Right. So, yeah. Well, you, you know. you got to have somebody as a member to go with the guest. So. It's something for him to strive for for next year, but I saw there his you know. I saw his, his glove hand twitching as I left the door, and he was uh -huh. listening to you guys out there. So be he's, a good truck. Be a good, these, these, these big boys can play now, but of course they got flights. And, uh, and yeah, Gary would, uh, would enjoy it. Who wouldn't enjoy it today? It's gorgeous. It's out, gorgeous. It? And I will tell you that I also... I'm a golfer, although I'm a hacker, and I, I'm nowhere near, you know, a quarter of, of the talent that, that you guys are talking about. But I have been outdoors lately, and one of the things that I've been doing is hanging out with my five-year-old and doing some chickens. Now, I'll tell you, there was a big feature in last Sunday's paper about this, backyard chickens, and people are getting really passionate about this sort of hobby. But, you know, 
you can't imagine how rewarding it is to start collecting your own fresh eggs until you've done it. And I just want to tell you that I am not somebody who likes to spend a lot of time and a lot of energy on things that are, um, you know, hobbies. I mean, I, I like the reward, but I'm not going to spend all day, every day in the garden, in the chicken coop. I just don't I have other things going on in my life. I would never have guessed before I started having my own backyard chickens how easy and how low labor intensive it really is. Are you literally talking about chickens? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jay. Okay. Honest to God, <laughs> real live chickens. I'm Egg looking wing. around to see who said that because I, I'm not. <laughs> did you say that, JJ? Yeah, I mean, I never. Did you heard think of this. I was talking about? I didn't know what the heck was going on. What did you on, th- like? McNuggets? What did you think I was talking about? You were talking about a garden, and then I was like, wait, maybe she really has chickens around her yard. But she has quite a few chickens. Because I've worked I, I, in a I'm chicken house I'm looking before. at Sean, the intern, who's like doubled over in laughter mm-hmm. right now, and I'm wondering, like, am, is it <laughs> Japanese coming out of my mouth? I don't know. What happened? I don't know. It just seems like something am I speaking different. English? I didn't know people had chickens in their backyard. Is it chilling. English I'm speaking, or have I become <laughs> bilingual? I don't know. Maybe. Yes, so, JJ. I'm Lori, just, you know, there's other listeners out there probably asking the same question. Oh, because... And how many chickens do you have, Lori? Well, I have four grown chickens that are and? called that are called bantams, and they're mm-hmm. smaller and they're more docile, and they lay smaller eggs. And then I have four. I guess they're sort of considered teenagers now because they're about a month old. They started off as baby chicks, but chickens grow very fast if you feed them. And these little girls, they're all they're all girls. They're all hens. I don't advise if you live in the city limits to get a rooster. Mm, I don't think you're allowed to. Well, you're not, so don't. <laughs> um, but if you get hens that don't make very much noise, you still get eggs and they're just delicious and they're fresh and it's amazing and it's very rewarding and it's very easy i just can't believe now, how easy it really is what, Where do you what's keep the them? different lord what's the difference what's the advantage of having your backyard chicken eggs versus oh. the white eggs i can buy for you know a dollar 89 a dozen at your local supermarket right well the first advantage is there's something incredibly serene that feeds the soul, and I've talked to several chicken owners about this, just sitting and watching these girls dig in the dirt. I know it sounds crazy, and I can't even believe I'm saying this, except that when you sit, my husband and I will go out and sit and have a glass of wine and just watch these chickens. They're so entertaining just to see them doing their little chicken thing, and they're beautiful, and they're soft, and they're sweet, and they're docile. And not only do they keep the soil healthy in your yard, because they're turning up the soil and they're also replenishing it with nutrients because eating the bugs eating the bugs it, that's right it's a lot better than getting a weed killer out there to spray and toxify your yard instead you get a couple chickens let them roam around and they will eat the bugs they turn over the soil keep it fresh and they also replenish because chicken waste is very soil rich it's very good nutrients for the soil so it's kind of a full circle when you go out and you see fresh eggs in in the laying box it's incredibly rewarding and I'll tell you I've cracked an egg from my chickens and compared the yolk to a store-bought egg and it's probably two or three shades different in terms of the color of the yolk it's so much richer it's fresher you don't have to put them in your fridge they can actually sit on your countertop for up to 30 days at room temperature and the color of the yolk from our chickens is this deep orangey yellowy color you can just tell by looking at it that it has more nutritional value and it's a a a much better product than what you would buy okay okay, so we're talking about eight you got eight chickens Mm -hmm. you get eggs and all Correct. What's what's the startup project? And there's probably eight nine hundred dollars. No way. You could start up usually if you buy if you buy an adult chicken or a baby chick. And I'll tell you, they actually sell the baby chicks at the feed store right here in town. They just went through a hundred chicks in one week. They're going to get some more on the fifteenth of March. There's all different kinds of varieties. My five year old is having a ball. If you have kids, kids love this. He's more of a chicken expert than I am. He can tell you all the different kinds. But you know, they'll have more on the fifteenth. 
15th of March. You can order them online. They come to your door overnight. It's really amazing. So 15 bucks a chicken. You can get a starter A-frame coop for, I found a, a family on Craigslist who builds them and will deliver them to your house for about $50. So with a delivery fee, it was about $180. Get yourself a bale of hay for about six bucks and then some chicken feed if you order the online organic like I do. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can buy regular chicken feed at the feed store for maybe about $16 for a bag. So you're looking at under 500 bucks to get started. Under 500 bucks mm -hmm. just for the benefit of having... No, you can have free breakfast every morning. You that's can have right. Some nice every day. Well, I like, and that's what I eat every yeah. morning. I eat a three egg omelet every morning. Yeah. And I'll go. tell that's, you, that's from 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 a holistic point of view. Eggs are an incredibly nutritious food. They have gotten a bad rap in, in years past. And because now cholesterol. physicians are coming out. The nutritional world is coming out and saying, hey, you know what? Eggs really are good for you. Remember when they started identifying good cholesterol versus bad cholesterol, HDL right. versus LDL? Once they started differentiating, eggs became in favor again so you know being able to get fresh eggs it's a perfect food it's loaded with lysine which is antiviral it's easy to make you can use eggs a thousand different ways and so it's really been a fun project but it's also very rewarding so I well, want to encourage people if they're thinking about it it's not scary I was afraid of you know your horror stories oh you get snakes oh you get rats oh I thought maybe the they'll get parasites they'll get sick they'll get bugs I'll have to do all you know I could see myself at the vet at midnight trying to take my chicken in for some health problem. It has been so <laughs> easy, right? I don't want my $15 chicken to turn into the $1,000 uh, hey, chicken overnight, yeah. right? Well, I know. I this know is what I thought. Wise, this is I know calorie-wise, with my new workout regimen I've been doing and everything, I ate a three-egg omelet every morning. That's 270 calories. Right. And then throughout the day, I keep five or six boiled eggs in my refrigerator because they're mm -hmm. great snacks. They they're are. High, high protein. They're high protein. And I'll eat three or four eggs a day, and they're the calorie-wise, a boiled egg's like 90 calories. Correct. So they, they're very filling. They're very good for you. Mm -hmm. And they're not high in a calorie intake. So if you're trying to watch your weight, eggs are a great alternative. It's a great alternative. So if you're thinking about it, jump in the pool it's a lot of fun it's not nearly as scary as you might think i highly encourage so um that's that's definitely something that's been a really terrific fun thing for us to do outdoors and then the other thing we've been doing which has been great is container gardening now we have lots of sunlight you know in florida and you can grow all sorts of veggies and produce here pretty easily but I live in a yard where I don't have eight hours of sunlight in any one spot. So I got myself some high density, low energy, high efficient grow lamps, ordered them on the internet, hooked them up in my garage, and I have got vegetables exploding in containers. Uh and she's not kidding. The not word kidding. exploding is exactly it. it. She's got greenery everywhere. It's you know, crazy. I just want to know why I've never been invited to the new house. Like, JJ, you, you want to come watch the Mindy Project next week? <laughs> wait, you wait, can wait, come wait. over. JJ, JJ, you were a no show last time you were invited. That's okay? right. not at her yeah. house. You are, well, you were a no show. So when you get no shows, you don't invite people back. <laughs> you fall <laughs> down the list, my friend. You go from the A list to the B list. Uh -huh. And the reason I'm on the A list is because Gary Gregory and I are golf. Yeah, but you got no show. You no show me too. Yeah, but so. Gary and I play golf together. But, 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 but he, he had, no, Tom, Tom atoned. He atoned. Yeah. So he, he made yeah. it back. But JJ, you are welcome to come over and watch the Mindy Project Thank anytime you, you and like. And watch the chickens grow. And watch <laughs> the chickens and check out the garden. But, you know, I'm telling you, we took, my son and I took the seeds from an organic green pepper, stuck them in the soil in a bunch of containers. We have maybe 25 green pepper plants just exploding. And it's really amazing to me how simple it was to get a couple grow lights, put on a, on a timer, 14 hours on these plants and they are just going crazy. I've got tomatoes, broccoli, peppers, red and green, squash. Um, it's it's unbelievable. And again, incredibly satisfying. And as I like to joke, I'm now ready for the zombie apocalypse. So uh -huh. maybe when the zombies strike, JJ, you'll be ready. You to got come your over. eight chickens and I your got my chickens and I house. got my. That's right. <laughs> that's right. We harvested some of the lettuce yesterday for the first time and had a yummy salad for lunch. And it's just delish. Now you have to remember. When when you pick 
produce from the vine, nutrients start depleting after a half hour. So think about the food that you're buying at the grocery store and how long ago it was harvested. The more you can harvest fresh, the greater nutrient value you're getting from the food. It tastes better. It is better. It's a, it's a big deal. So, if you're th again, if you're thinking about jumping in, you don't have a lot of space or you don't have a lot of garden and sunlight. And the other benefit to having container gardening indoors, no squirrels. I don't have to fight the squirrels and all the other pests that want my goodies. I can have first pick, and I don't have to spend time. And there's so you got a, you got a green you have a greenhouse, you got a green garage. I got I've a green it. garage. You know, that's lots right. of stuff growing there with the artificial light, and that's it's correct. amazing what she's got going in there, uh, which I want to follow closely. And uh, all right, we got about a minute here before we're going to take a break, and, and I think you have to go to the top of the hour. I've got tweets and quotes coming up. Before we do, this just in: Kelly Osborne rushed to L.A. hospital after oh. suffering a seizure oh, while God. taping her show Fashion Police. Ambulance rushed to the scene, kind of taken away by a stretcher. People uh, held up white sheets to shield her from the media, uh, and she was sitting in a chair shooting the show in front of a full studio audience with Melissa Rivers sitting next to her. And uh, she turned to Melissa and said, I don't feel good, fell out of the chair and started shaking. Mm. Uh, so uh, apparently they rushed her off to the hospital, and uh, his, his hospital said she felt better later. So apparently she's not too bad. They took her to the hospital anyway. Isn't that it's funny? A, I was just listening to some of her music today and thinking what an incredible voice and how fortunate we are that she emerged through the American Idol system, that she's just such an amazing not singer. Not Kelly Osbourne. Not Kelly Osbourne. Kelly oh, Osbourne. Kelly Osbourne. I thought you said Kelly Clarkson. No, Kelly Osbourne. Oh, Kelly no, Osbourne. No, Kelly Osbourne, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's also yeah, not they good got The new guy, uh -huh. by the way, the new guy on, on the Idol is, is, is that guy Finch. He blew it out the box last night. I thought you said there was Amazing. more talent in this one, buddy. Well, no, I said it's not as much overall talent, but this guy is just superb. Is it terrible yeah. that my first thought about Kelly Osborne is that her seizure might be related to her purple hair? Is that terrible? Uh, oh, man. Well, <laughs> it's not terrible. It's a little tacky. Wow. All right, we'll wrap it up. Laurie, any final thoughts? Uh, no, just jump on in, whether it's chickens or gardening. Get out there. It's beautiful. It's time of year. Spring is a great time to just start thinking about ways that you can connect with the earth. It's good to get out there and get some fresh air. All right. Laurie Martin Gregory, you can read about her in your local neighborhood magazine or her health recipes. You can hear her on Thursdays with us. And thanks for coming in, Laurie. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Have fun out there. All right. We're live at Country Club Vocala, Tom and I, and JJ and... Uh, Sean back at the, uh, the studio and uh, we're going to take a break, come back we'll finish up this hour with tweets and quotes coming up next, right here on The Voice of the Column 1370 AM, 96.3 FM streaming live at WOCA.com The Source Requires bank approval, vehicle purchase across fixed trade allowance offers no combined Are you bored, tired, and disgusted with your old car? Hey, this is Cupid, Chris Spears from Prestige Auto Sales I want you to love your car, so trade in the old car you hate Even if you're still making payments Even if you owe more than it's worth and I'll help you drive a nicer, newer car sooner than you ever thought possible. Plus, when you use your tax refund as a down payment, you'll get a lot nicer, newer car. So you can hook up with a car you love today. Bad credit? Cupid got you down? Our For the People Credit Approval Specialists are world-class matchmakers. They'll connect you with the lender most likely to approve your loan. Hate your old car? Dump it. And fall in love with a nicer, newer car today, even if you have more than it's worth or still making payments. Plus, turn your tax refunds into your down payment and save a lot on a car you'll love. Hurry, this love fest ends when we match 57 people with a car of their dreams. I'm Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit me in Ocala or Bellevue. Online at PrestigeSaysYes.com. Or call 694-1234 to see you at Prestige. Hi, I'm Lisa Midget with Kinetic Motion Fitness, Ocala's premier small group and personal training fitness studio. Did you know you can achieve all your fitness goals? Whether that's losing weight, getting fit, or training for a personal best, all with no membership fees? Have you ever been embarrassed or intimidated at a big gym because you're not a Greek god or a size zero supermodel? Have you ever felt like your gym would rather you not even show up? At KMF, we have a team approach that focuses on small classes and personal training, and you'll feel like family, not just another number. No more boring treadmills or endless reps. Our classes are fun, energetic, and get you the results you want. And I should know, with the help of our great trainers, I lost over 100 pounds in eight jean sizes, and I did it using no heavy equipment and no magic pills, just fun and effective workouts. And yes, I did say fun. 
Come join us at KMF. Visit our website at kmfocala.com or like us on Facebook. Again, that was kmfocala.com. Sears March Madness Savings. Sears. Extra savings on apparel. Sears. Extra savings on appliances. Sears. Extra savings on TVs and electronics. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on fine jewelry. Sears. Extra savings on tools, grills, and patio. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on tractors and mowers. Sears. Extra savings on mattresses. Uh, Sears. Special Sunday hours, March 10th, for the family and friends sale, 6 to 9 p.m. Sears. That's Sunday, March 10th, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Paddock Mall. Only at Sears. Hi, this is Brad, one of the hosts of Winging It here on WOCA every Friday at 9 a.m. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue regarding aviation. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots, in part due to the lack of new pilots starting their flight training now. A pilot needs two to three years to get through their training and to build up enough flight time to be able to be hired. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a private pilot's license. This license will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. Now, of course, the student does not have to have aspirations of becoming a commercial pilot. If they simply have a desire to obtain their private pilot's license so they may enjoy the adventures of flying, they may also apply for the scholarship. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact me, Brad, or Ron at Ocala Aviation Services. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz, the host of Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports. From NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly Are You Kidding Me rant? So join me and J.J. LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. It's getting started. I was singing to you, you were singing to me I was so alive, never been more free Fired up my daddy's lighter and we sang oh, oh, oh. Stayed there till they forced us out the Hi, Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala final segment of this hour Coming up next hour we'll have Coach Tim Ryan Whose Patriots just won their first round game in the state tournament at Chipola We'll talk to him along with Gary Van Sickle If we can hook up with Gary, he'll be down in Miami where Tom tells me that Tiger Woods is, in fact, one of them leading the top tournament. When I looked it up last time, it was Dustin Johnson. So we'll clear it up for you at the top of the hour. But right now it's time, J.J., if you roll the music out there for Tweets and Quotes. Coming to you live from the Country Club Ocala today. These are mostly about relationships. You guys should listen up, okay? Number one. As a man in a relationship, you have a choice. You can be right, or you can be happy. <laughs> that's from somebody named Ralphie May, and that's right spot on. Ralphie May is a great comedian. Yeah. Also, this is one from Lucia Ball, who does a bit of a thing about relationships. Ricky, a man who correctly guesses a woman's age may be smart, but he's not very bright. <laughs> exactly. And finally, my boy, Stephen Wright, he's just so deep and so funny. Think about this one. If you can't hear me, it's because I'm in parenthesis. <laughs> Whose mind would work that way? Stephen Wright. Can you imagine that? Cracks me up. One of the great writers, by the way, Stephen Wright. This is a copy of His jokes are so good because they're written so well, you know? They are. Funny guy. Next hour, I'll tell you about a guy from Ocala with a green jacket? Could that be possible? Well, apparently, Stephen Piles, although he hadn't won the Masters, he's got one. We'll tell you about that. And, uh, well, it is. Kind of. Well, he's got it. Is that his possession? No, it's not. Mm, okay, they, they took it away from him already? It's at the auction house. I thought they bought it. Okay, no, I thought no, they bought it from the auction house. No, no, I, I got it. Uh, believe me. He, 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 it's a strange story. All right, we'll find out about it. I, I don't have the update, but I can just tell you, this is a strange thing. Ocala guy with a green jacket. At least he was in his possession at one time. So he's putting it back on the market again. But we'll see what happens. All that coming to you next. So stay tuned. Also, as I said, Coach Tim Ryan will join us. Patriots win first round over Manatee. We've got uh, Gary Van Sickle, Sports Illustrated. Franz Beard will join us to talk about Gators clinching the SEC last night. 
uh, championship for Billy Donovan. So stay tuned. But coming up next, Buddy Martin Sports Page on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics. Do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. If you missed last Friday's Community Gazette Day at Gateway Bank, you missed the first installment of the Ask the Cops show, airing every second and fourth Friday from Gateway Bank. With your host, Buddy Martin, Chief Greg Graham of Ocala's Police Department, and Sheriff Chris Blair of Marion County Sheriff's Office, joined us to talk about what steps they took for a smooth transition once they took over the leadership role of their individual police departments. Give me a 60-second update of what's happened to the Sheriff's Office. Well, you know, you know, my first uh, five weeks in there, you know, the big thing is just looking at the organization and uh, studying it. And uh, we're um, basically looking at a lot of feedback. We're bringing uh, retirees back to the sheriff's office, uh, evaluators, along with some community uh, leaders and business people to actually to go into the sheriff's office, engage with our people there, uh, the employees, to try to get some feedback and uh, so that we can look at the entire organization from a different perspective. And uh, we'll make changes and um, do our organizational structure from that, from that feedback. And, and Greg, hasn't been that long ago you were doing the same thing with your department. Uh, yeah, I've been back a year now. January 15th is a year. And, uh, you know, I truly believe, as does uh, the sheriff, that the people that best know how to run the organization are the people that actually do the work in the organization. That's those men and women that are out there every day uh, answering those calls for service, dealing with the public. So, you know, I did the same thing. I sought a lot of input uh, and engaged uh, the, the men and women that work there. And, you know, we've uh, we made some pretty significant changes and some small changes, and they've been part of the process. And uh, it's gone really well. I've, tell you, I, I can't, uh, I'm, I'm so honored to be back in Ocala, uh, but certainly even more honored to, to uh, have the opportunity to work and, uh, and play with the men and women that uh, belong to the Ocala Police Department. Join us for Ask the Cops on the second and fourth Friday of every month, live from Gateway Bank's Community Gazette Day on the Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. Every day we hear another story about innovation or about cutting-edge technology taking place right here in Ocala. The power plant, IHMC, Ocala 489. Did you know that important medical research is also being conducted here that may impact hundreds of thousands of people in the country someday? Maybe you've heard the name Renstar, but like so many others, perhaps you didn't realize that Renstar Medical Research is one of the top facilities of its kind anywhere in the U.S. There are important research studies being conducted by a highly qualified team of medical experts at Renstar in Impacting decisions of major pharmaceutical companies and bringing new drugs to market. And you can be a part of these studies, as so many local people have done and are currently doing. Renstar has conducted more than 500 studies since its inception and would like to extend the opportunity to you to be a part of these cutting-edge programs. Call 877-629-5800 or 352-629-5800 if you'd like to know more. Renstar Medical Research locally owned and operated in beautiful downtown Ocala. Renstar, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. They've served our country. They've kept us free. And they need your help. 
We're sitting in Veterans Park. You can't sit here not realizing that you're surrounded by heroes. There are a lot of heroes in our community. A lot of heroes, unfortunately, are not in good financial shape. They're hurting both physically and financially. We step in and help directly. Our role is to reach out to them. We're there to help the veteran. We do counseling. We do outreach. Sometimes it's just coming into the office and sitting down and saying, hey, I've got a problem, and you're talking to another veteran who understands that problem. Everybody who works for the Vets Helping Vets are awesome, and they are so kind to everybody. They're like my second family. They really are. They have been there during the holidays. I have gotten unexpected visits, assistance. Vets Helping Vets of Marion County needs your help. Call today, 352-433-2320, and pledge your support to Vets Helping Vets of Marion County. It really has been a blessing. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. ABC News Now, I'm Daria Aldinger. Facebook is getting another facelift with bigger photos, more videos, and wait for it, more engaging ads. The idea is to get you to spend more time on the social networking site and to entice more advertisers to get on board. When you log on to Facebook, it's probably from your smartphone or your tablet, not your desktop PC. That's because more of us don't have them anymore. Demand for the traditional home computer has dropped 50% over the last decade as more users cut the cord and go mobile. Couple pieces of bacon today, that's fine. You can add a sausage link if you'd like, and any more than that, you're putting your life at risk. A European study found people who eat more than an ounce of processed meat a day are 44% more likely to develop heart disease. Demi Moore didn't ask for the divorce, but she wants her soon-to-be ex, Ashton Kutcher, to pay for it. TMZ says Moore is also asking Kutcher for spousal support. Legal experts say that's not likely to happen. This is ABC News. Hi, Tom Bodet. It's never been easier to book a clean, comfortable room at Motel 6. You can book online at motel6.com, use our cool new app on your tablet or smartphone, or call 1-800-4-MOTEL-6 on your dumb phone. Sadly, you can't book by pigeon or morse code, so if you want the lowest price of any national chain by telegraph, I guess you're just dot 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 dash 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 dot dash dot dot. I'm Tom Bodet for Motel 6 and we'll leave the light on for you. Because Kate switched to Geico and saved hundreds of dollars on car insurance, her purse wants to do some cartwheels. Maybe three or four in a row. But it can't. It's a purse. It doesn't have the hand-eye coordination for cartwheeling. Switch to Geico and every time you notice some extra cash, you'll know your purse wants to do some cartwheels. But remember, it can't, because purses don't cartwheel. It is, however, happy that you're saving money. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. How much time? 30. 30 seconds. I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Enough kidding around. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And now it's time for the Buddy Martin Buddy, Sports Bay. He actually had me stay here last night in his gym. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. Let's go talk to a couple of guys that never gamble. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. He Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir, and I never slice. And now, here's Buddy. All right, welcome back to the Voice of Ocala Live at Country Club Ocala. Now going out to Northwest Florida to talk to Coach Tim Ryan, coach of the victorious CF Patriots, who today knocked off Manatee in a, in a big win after a bit of a struggle. Coach, congratulations. You got to that first round. You able to hear me, Coach? Hello? Yeah, I just said congratulations. You got through that first round. Uh, and uh, now on to a, a more difficult one. But let's talk about today's game. Uh, looked like you had a little trouble with Manatee early on, but you got it going in the second half and shut down their high score. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I, I'm not hearing you great, but it sounds like you're talking about the kid that uh, went off on us in the first half. Um, you know, we, we knew going into the game he was a really good shooter, and, and um, uh, we've played against him before, and then he's lit us up before. Uh, we felt that he, he shot the ball so well in the first half, we didn't think he could do that in the second half. Uh, he came out and hit his first three in the second half, so what we did was we switched up from our 2-3 zone 
we went to a diamond and one, basically like a boxing one, most people know it as, and, and we guarded him just man to man and we, we shot him down totally in the second half and they ended up, um, you know, they, they, they're, they're, I believe on the year, they shoot something like 48% from the field, which, which is very high. And uh, we held them today to 33% from the field. So, you know, our defense really came through for us in that second half. Well, you answer my next question. What kind of defense did you use? As you said, you changed well, defense second yeah, half. We, we switched it up. We, 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 we're, we're, we, we normally play a 2-3. We, we play that 2-3 because we're so big and so long. And it's the first year I've really used it as my primary defense. But I think it's the best zone, the best suited for us. But this kid was just knocking down bombs from the outside. So we decided to change it up and go to a diamond and one. Tim Rise, our, our guest, just for a couple more questions. Coach, let you get back to your team and things you got to do. Tomorrow you face Northwest Florida, but uh, uh, I guess they got to play tonight. Are they playing a game tonight with Northwest Florida? They're actually playing. It's, it's halftime right now, and it's not a given that we're playing Northwest yet. They're in like right. a, I think it's a two-point game right now. They're playing Palm Beach, and mm. um, Palm Beach is, has beaten uh, beat them early in the year uh, about mm. five or six on a neutral wow. site. Uh, so it, they're in a tight game. Northwest is up by two or three right now. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm at the game. I just stepped outside for, for uh, halftime. Yes, I appreciate you doing that, Coach. Uh, you got a balanced scoring attack. That's one of the strengths of your team. You rebound the ball good. Uh, but today the guy who stepped up was Rodell Wigington. Uh, what was he able to do to get you back going? He scored, I think, 20 points today. Yeah, what, what, what Rodell does, and, and against the guys like this, he's, he's very effective. And I, and I say guys like this because – Manatee is is a type of team where they're all about their offensive side. They don't they don't play like the, today. We held them, I believe, at seventy seven points, and that's the lowest amount all year that they've scored. They don't play a lot of defense, and Rodell is just tremendous at going to the basket, and and that's what he did for us today. We called his number a couple of times for some pick and rolls, and and, and he just takes off to the basket, and and, and he's. Uh, a great finisher, um, uh, getting fouled, and, and, and so that, that's where he came through for us today was, was getting to the basket. All right, anybody else you want to single out, Coach, for today's game? Well, you know, we we, did, we had a we had a great effort. We, we, again, we had a number of guys in double figures. Um, we had, uh, I, I believe, one, two, three, four, five guys. You know, we we averaged six guys in double figures, and, and I really think it's an all-around team effort with these guys. Uh, Jordan Parks played a tremendous, you know, doesn't show in the box score, played a tremendous job on the defensive side, and also Rodell, who we just talked about, he was the guy that guarded um, their kid that was uh, at twenty. Isaiah years. Williams. He was yeah. the guy that guarded him in the second mm -hmm. half, and, and he did a terrific job on the defensive side. So that that, that defense is what really came up big, and, and those two guys especially. Uh, Coach Ryan uh, from CF, just one more question. Uh, who will you play tomorrow? Is it a night game or is it a 4 o'clock game no, tomorrow? We, 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 it'll be 3 o'clock Central Time, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Okay. You can get that. Yeah, I think you can log on and get that online if you want to do that. And, you you, and you finally, can get it online. That's correct. Mm -hmm. you, know, you go to our website and you, you can uh, cfpatriots.com and they'll give you a link to the, uh, uh, to, to the website, which actually is psblive.com, Panhandle Sports Podcasting, Panhandle Sports Broadcasting Live.com. I know you don't want to jinx yourself and look past tomorrow night, but just for the schedule-wise, if you win, you go to the semifinals tomorrow, is that right, or is that the finals? So tomorrow is the semifinals. Okay, so you would go to play, the, to play for the championship, and that means if you got that far, and I know you don't like talk, a lot talking about this, but you get a chance to go to the national, right? That's correct. That's correct. We'd have to win tonight and tomorrow night. I know you tomorrow want night, that lose. And, and uh, on Saturday. I know you want that elusive first state championship, Coach, or good luck. And we'll talk to you. Maybe you've got a chance to catch up to you. If not tomorrow, maybe uh, over the weekend or something. And we'll be following right. your progress. All right, buddy. Thank you very much for having me on, and, and, and I appreciate it um, greatly. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Bye-bye. Tim Ryan. Here's a guy you root for. Uh, I, quality guy has a group of young men that really buy into the system he runs. And if you've not been out to watch a game, and I know you've been out and watched a few games, I've been out there, it's really great fun and entertaining basketball. Well, you know, and it's just a guy that he believes in his program. He's committed to stay here. He thinks he's got the best venue in the country. Uh, he does a terrific job. He's going to have six or seven guys going to D1, uh, you know, which even though they won't all be going to top D1s, Getting six guys. I was talking to Jim Haley this morning. By the way, I saw Jim Haley and John Brantley running together today. I don't know what. Uh oh, Coach, Coach Haley must be stuck for somebody to hang out with. I don't know. He, he must. Yeah, he's, something's going on there. Yeah. You know, here's the thing, buddy. He just said something that I found amazing. He has six players that average in double digits. Oh yeah. 
how many te- how many teams community college wise division one division two how many teams do you know have six players that all average in double figures well, let me just say this what kind of basketball is he playing and who does he remind you of as a coach I, the answer is Billy Donovan. Exactly. <laughs> he's up the road. The answer is he's played the same ball up the road. Out right. scoring, good D. You know, uh, he's uh, he and he's of course he's a New Yorker as well, right? Billy, of course, grew up on the island, and uh, and if we talked about yesterday, Keith and I did about uh, the fact that uh, that Tim was from Power Memorial before he transferred. The great the games. The games it sounded like mirrored each other last night. Vanderbilt had one guy that was yeah. doing all the scoring right. in the first half. The Florida defense said, uh-uh, in the second half, just shut Vanderbilt down, and that's what it sounds like Well, the first, did today. The first half, at one point, with about six minutes ago, Vanderbilt had like eight points. Well, Vanderbilt had, when they had 19 points, they had one guy that scored 15 of the 19. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> Billy Donovan uh, cut the nets down last night. Yes, they did. Um, and uh, so that's a nice, for three seniors, get to go out with a positive note. We'll talk with Franz Beard. Is Phil Mickelson hitting it off the asphalt? Phil Mickelson is hitting it off the concrete, concrete. cart path. My word. He just oh. chipped off the concrete. He's one of guy that could do this. Look at this shot. Do you believe that? And <laughs> got it to about oh, eight my feet. Get it for the magician. Off the concrete. cart path. Off my concrete cart word. Path. What a shot. You know what? He's, he's, like he's like magical. Look, look at this. this. Wait, look, I cannot let's believe this. Let's see this divot mark. <laughs> this is going to happen. Look at this. The bug, he was a bug under his ball. Look at that clean. Little tiny spot wow. there. He's smiling like, yeah, I know I'm good. Well, you know the difference between that and me is if I hit off there, I break my club, I got to repair it. He breaks, breaks his club, he just goes to the tour trailer and they make him another club. Oh, and then your ball's like 40 yards on the other side of the green. Yeah, because so. I probably skull it and yeah. kill somebody no, 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 on the other side. side. That would be me too, as well. I, I, that's unbelievable. That, you think I'll be on ESPN highlights? It's on there already. So. Exactly. They got an intern, not Sean Frazier. We have him, but they have an intern just like Sean cutting that right now to put it on sports. Yeah. Center. Well, if we get a hold of him, we're going to try. And he said he'd be available. Um, I'm sure that Gary Van Sickle, Sports Illustrated, will have seen that shot. I uh, oh, heard yeah. about it by now. So we'll take a break. We'll come back and see if we can hook up with Gary Van Sickle. JJ, you got headlines after the break. Sure, All right, headlines coming your way. Lots more to happen right here on the program called Buddy Sports Page. We're live from Country Club Ocala on the beautiful March afternoon on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The source. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz, the host of Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports. From NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly Are You Kidding Me rant? So join me and J.J. LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. Every day we hear another story about innovation or about cutting-edge technology taking place right here in Ocala. The power plant, IHMC, Ocala 489. Did you know that important medical research is also being conducted here that may impact hundreds of thousands of people in the country someday? Maybe you've heard the name Renstar, but like so many others, perhaps you didn't realize that Renstar Medical Research is one of the top facilities of its kind anywhere in the U.S. There are important research studies being conducted by a highly qualified team of medical experts at Renstar, impacting decisions of major pharmaceutical companies and bringing new drugs to market. And you can be a part of these studies, as so many local people have done and are currently doing. Renstar has conducted more than 500 studies since its inception and would like to extend the opportunity to you to be a part of these cutting-edge programs. Call 877-629-5800 or 352-629-5800 if you'd like to know more. Renstar Medical Research, locally owned and operated in beautiful downtown Ocala. Renstar, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Hello, I'm Dawn Lovell, lead event designer and owner at Party Time Rentals. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make an event spectacular? Well, look no further. It's what we do every day. Whether you're hosting an intimate dinner for 10 or a gala for thousands, at Party Time Rentals, we find just the right style and elegance to make your event a success. Our extensive inventory of the finest in chandeliers, tents, crystal, china, and specialty items is featured in our fabulous showroom. Stop by and say hello. It's a great 
great way to get ideas for an event and experience for yourself how you can make your party time special. Party Time Rentals, located on Southwest 10th Street, just off Route 200 in Ocala, and off Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. For more information, call 352-629-8858. That's 352-629-8858. The party begins at party time. Well, the new year is upon us, and that means getting to those forgotten projects that you promised you would. So whether you're tackling a small honeydew list or building the Taj Mahal, Sunbelt Rentals will help you get the job done right with the right tools. From carpet cleaners to excavators, Sunbelt Rentals has what you need. So what are you waiting for? Get it done. Rent it now. From Sunbelt Rentals, located on Highway 27, just a half mile east of I-75, or visit sunbeltrentals.com. Get it done. Rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals. Sears March Madness Savings. Sears. Extra savings on apparel. Sears. Extra savings on appliances. Sears. Extra savings on TVs and electronics. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on fine jewelry. Sears. Extra savings on tools, grills, and patio. Oh, Sears. Extra savings on tractors and mowers. Sears. Extra savings on mattresses. Uh, Sears. Special Sunday hours, March 10th, for the family and friends sale, 6 to 9 p.m. Sears. That's Sunday, March 10th, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Paddock Mall. Only at Sears what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. People who were considered overweight felt pain 20% more often than those whose weight was normal, and the heavier somebody was, the more often they hurt. If a person posts more than five photos of themselves, odds are they're self-absorbed and not ready to be in a committed 50-50 relationship. Write down your dream job recipe, like a company that offers flex time or you want a position with room to grow, and then focus your search on jobs that match your wish list, your recipe. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. Got your name on my arm Baby, is it spring or is it summer The guitar sound or the beat of that drum Yeah, sometimes later right, Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala Boys are lighting it up Phenomenal shot by Phil Mickelson off the concrete Right down at the rattle. Right now, what's the leaderboard look like, Todd? The leaderboard is Tiger Woods in the clubhouse Him and Frederick Jakobsen Both in the clubhouse at 6 under 66 today Joined by Sergio Garcia, Graham McDowell, Bubba Watson, all still out on the course, all of them have played through 17, all at 6-under. Followed closely by Hunter Mahan, Steve Stricker, both at 5-under. And then Keegan Bradley, Ian Poulter, Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Justin Rose, and Charles Howell, a third at 4-under. And then Ricky Fowler at 3-under. So a star-studded leaderboard at the World Golf, Cla- the World Golf Championship. It's a Cadillac, brought to you by Cadillac at the Cadillac Championship at the Blue Monster Doral down in Miami, for sure. Later on, we'll talk to uh, Franz Beard. Last night's game, big win by the Gators over Venice. I think it's big because anytime you win a conference championship, even though it's a down year in the, in the SEC, it's significant, you know? And, uh, you know, you get a ring for that, and uh, that's a nice thing for the, the kids to be able to say, especially the three seniors. So, uh, there, by the way... I'm watching the golf here. People are just throwing darts at the holes. Well, the course is ideal storing conditions. The greens are holding pretty good. They're growing fast, but they're still they're firm. But they're holding good, and they're rolling true. And guys are just laying it up there within ten, within ten, eight. I guess those guys two. really are good. You suppose? I suppose, yeah. So this starts the golf season for me, really, right now. Uh, I think when you start with Doral from here on through now, but it begins. I just couldn't get too excited about the World Golf Champ. Pebble Beach starts Nine for me. Well, Pebble's good. It's a good event, but it's nothing after that, you know. I mean, uh, uh, I, I like this cycle through here, through Augusta, and I still wish they had the Players' Championship, you know, right back where it was before. I don't like it in May, but uh, nonetheless, um, it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. Let's update you. JJ, you got some? You got any more headlines, everybody? Yeah, we got plenty of headlines today, buddy. Let's go for it. All right, Mo Rivera, after coming off of a. ACL tear last season will play this season, but he's planning on retiring at the end of the year. Also known as Mariano, just in case you don't know <laughs> yes, who that is. Yes, Mariano Rivera, his Christian name. 
Oh. Um, he has 608 saves, buddy. He's an active career saves leader. Guess who? Has? Joe Nathan's in second place with 298. Wow. <laughs> so it's a massive Pretty difference. Pretty secure, I'd say. Yeah. Definite Hall of Famer, great Yankee. He'll be retiring. He'll play his last game because they probably, the Yankees probably won't go to the playoffs this year. He'll play his last game in Houston, which was very strange to me. But yeah. in the NCAA, always, go he's ahead. He's only 43, by the way, and you think he's like 80. Right. Like so on. You know, he, he's 12 times an all-star. And 12, as long as maybe. that uh, cutter is still working, yeah. you know, don't retire, Mo. We need you back in sports. Last night in basketball, Miami Hurricanes were defeated, did not clinch mm. the ACC outright just yet. They have one more game left this weekend. Florida did. For Georgia Tech, hell of an engineer. <laughs> Florida did clinch the SEC yesterday. They beat Vandy 66-40. Georgetown got knocked off by Villanova. So the number one seeds, again, it's all up for debate. Uh, last night in the NBA, the Lakers came back from down 25 points wow. against the New Orleans Hornets. Ended up winning 108-102. And well, first of all, I had to get behind by 25. I have no idea. I did not watch out. the game. But uh, the Miami Heat game I did watch, you would think they're playing Orlando. Their streak's, you know, not in jeopardy at all. Wrong. They were actually down by one point in the last possession of the game. LeBron cleared everybody out, took it to the hole, and scored. Like LeBron does, the Heat win 97-96, have their win streak up to 16 yeah, games. You, you say like LeBron does, but did you see that stat on him last night? No. That's the first game winner with under 10 seconds. That's first shot that he's taken with under 10 seconds to remain in the game with the game in the balance. That's the first one he's hit in his career to actually win a game. Before that, They're he was tied. 0-11. No, he was 0-11 in that situation. Wow. Under 10 seconds to go, takes the shot that could be the game winner. He was 0-11 until last night. Oh, I didn't realize that. And I guess that's not what LeBron does. But LeBron has been destroying people lately. It's and what he's doing now, yes. and that's what Buddy has said. Buddy said. Buddy said numerous times, and he's talked about it, that you can say what you want about LeBron James and that he wasn't clutch, and there was times he gave up the ball towards the end of the game. That's not the LeBron James is playing basketball right now, buddy, is it? He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Oh, he's, he's insane. So phenomenal. No, he really is. He's, I, I'm enjoying watching him. By the way, if you think it was bad for some of the guys in the NBA last night, nobody had it quite as bad as the Bulls. You hear about this? No. They're playing. Apparently, uh, one yeah. of the engines ex- uh, had a, a, a compressor go out. Oh, it sounded like an explosion as they're taking off. Uh, and 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 uh, headed to I believe Indianapolis, yeah, uh, for the like Sunday's game against the Pacers. And this explosion went off, and on the plane, imagine that. And if you're sitting in the back of the plane, apparently the air a lot worse. So apparently the plane turned around, but back to O'Hare last night. That's scary. Uh, and so uh, yeah, that's a little scary. I never had quite that happen to me, but anytime you see fire come out of the engine, not a good thing. Well, speaking of not good things, you know I'm a big college basketball fan. I watch. Watch a lot of college basketball. Last night, well, you used to be until North Carolina went south. Last night, well, North Carolina's won six in a row. Anyway. Anyway. Let's, don't, don't start telling me this but, is a great And game. if they beat Duke, they'll end up in yeah. the tournament. Yeah, well. But anyway, that's I not hope that, this I not a hope that Carolina's goals are higher to get the right. tournament. This is not a basketball story at, for the game of basketball. This yeah. is a classless act by students at a university. Hmm. University of Wyoming students last night kept chanting drunken alcoholic at two, Larry, nights, two nights two nights ago at Larry Eustacey who is see that's not a funny matter to me no. JJ just giggled and I don't think it's that funny the man's obviously suffering from an addiction to alcohol he's it's been well documented 2003 he was fired from Iowa State after pictures surfaced of him he's been in, in rehab twice for alcoholism it is a disease. It's not a laughing matter, and it was classless. What the wild? Well, you know why it's funny to me ago. is because it's. I'm a soccer fan, and these people and these crowds say some of the worst, most you know, racially charged things you will ever hear somebody Do not say. Not make it correct, whether it's racially charged or yeah, it just doesn't bother me. Over. It doesn't bother me. Well, it's uh, it's what you get with sports crowds, and I've got to say, I hate to say, make a generalization because of the good fans. For the most part, 
they're a lot of idiots as fans. I mean, totally. And again, if you think for one second that those athletes care about you as a fan, you're fooling yourself, yeah. right? They don't care about you. We were just you. talking about that yesterday with the whole stadium I know. They issues. Just don't care about you, really. I mean, there may be a few, there's some good people, but as I'd say a large chunk of them, they're heartless. When you go out there on the court, you can just spell this. You might as well realize the worst fears that uh, of people repeating your mistakes in your life, they're going to hear about it, you know? Oh, yeah. And then Duke fans are notorious for researching background on people. I'll say for the most part, Duke fans don't go quite that low. But that's that is that's classic. You're right. But it's college basketball, like JJ says. At least they're not hooligans. At least not yet. By the way, my goal in life is to be able to do what Mark Cuban just did. Mm-hmm. You know the story about the Bulls and their plane blowing up. He's lending his plane to the Bulls. <laughs> I wish I could say, I wish I could say, hey, take my plane. I'm not using it this weekend. You know, that'd be nice. Huh? How about that? Well, I think uh, that's because they play Dallas, buddy. Yeah, and he's probably got cameras and all of the play, and he thinks he's like a game planning. Yeah. He's probably making a business deal on the back someplace. With, no, know, actually, but, I don't no. think they. Dallas's next game is not against the Bulls, uh, but they played last night in San Antonio, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I yeah. just wish I had a plane to give somebody, buddy. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just wish I could have a plane. Say, hey, <laughs> yeah. take my plane. I'm not use it. I'm surprised at you guys. I'm really disappointed, Tom, at you and JJ. You claim to be baseball fans. And yet you you have a vote of a baseball story, one today because it's not baseball season yet. Wait 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 hold on a second. Baseball fans talk baseball in the hot stove league. They talk it during spring training. They talk it during trade season and during the season. You can't tell me Heat. baseball fans not cool baseball no, fans. No no no, no no you're fair with the baseball fans both of you. You don't really love it fair with you don't love it. baseball fans. If you loved it, you'd be talking about it right now. You know? Okay. All right. Well, what you're, are we going to talk about? The World Baseball Classic, buddy. Well, uh, talk about the teams. Who's going to be good? You know, what about the the high payroll out out, out, out in the Atlanta, Anaheim? You know, the Uh-oh. best team in baseball right now, if you look at it on paper, is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. They're all thinking. Not even arguing. They got some good acquisitions. I want. Uh, there's no question about that. But you'd be thinking. What about my Rays? What's happening to my Rays, man? What's going Your on? Your Rays are going to finish fourth in the East. No, they won't. They'll be better. They're pitching. They're pitching too good to finish fourth. They'll be better than that. They can't but score. And you're brave. You're Bravos, man. You have to tell us you're Bravos. Well, I'm, the Braves are going to win the AL East. I mean, the NL East. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be no big deal, and then you they're going to get to the playoffs, and shit. they're going to implode, or they're going to have some umpire steal a game yeah. from them like he did against the Cardinals. Who's the most year? interesting team around right now, JJ? What about what about uh, uh, the Rangers? The Rangers lost Josh Hamilton, and that's going to be a big blow to their offense. Offensively-wise, if you want to see Murderer's Row or, or, or a rendition of the Yankees-type Murderer's Row, mm-hmm. you're hard-pressed to find a lineup that, that there's not an easy out anywhere in that Anaheim, Los Angeles, Angel, not. whatever that their team is. That's that. Uh, they're an offense. We're sure your Pujols is going to have a better year. Better well, Josh start. Hamilton's on that team now. I know that, and they'll help him a lot. But I think you're going to see. Obviously, if Pujols gets off to a better start, he'll get his numbers back. But he was so bad at the beginning of the year last year. Well, buddy, buddy, think, yes, we have our golf guest. I know Gary Van Sickle. Yeah. Oh, how about that? You're going to be very Gary Van Sickle. He's alive. Let's talk to him now. Are you down in Miami, Gary? No, uh, unfortunately, I'm back. I was in I was in Honda last week in West Palm Beach, but I'm back in oh. Pittsburgh right now. Oh, okay. Well, it's too bad because a lot of good golf being played in Miami. You've been watching, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, Tiger Woods looks like you. You know, he's got a handful of courses he feels comfortable on, like Torrey Pines and Firestone and uh, Muirfield Village and Doral's another one of them. Boy, he shot an EP66 today, buddy. He, he had a couple putts that looked in. I'm telling you, it easily could have been eight, nine, ten under. So, uh, Tiger's looking pretty good so far, which is going to get everybody else jazzed up. Mickelson just uh, finished uh, five under. Good to see him after that phenomenal shot off the concrete. Did you see it? No, I didn't see the last. I'm in my car right now. I didn't see the last two okay. holes. I saw Phil yeah, miss yeah. a. I saw Phil hit a close on 16 and then miss a short putt. So, well, Phil, he was Phil, up Phil, he, I guess. Yeah, he was up and down. This is this up and down from the cart path on concrete. Okay, on concrete with his wedge, and it's tight. You know, you know, if you want to get Phil's interest, give him a trick shot. He yeah. loves trying those shots. 
And even if, you know, I'm sure he probably could have taken a taken relief and done something else, but he'd rather hit a trick shot and show off. Plus, he's really good at that stuff because that's what he does to amuse himself. So, uh, you, 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 you know what you're getting with Phil. He's, he's a little bit of a show off, and for a golfer, that's a good thing. You know, you know this story because you know Van, you know Cal Cavecchia back when he was playing. I've heard stories about his trick shots. Wouldn't it be a great competition if they had a trick shot weekend where they had a half a dozen players? And who would you put in? Bubba had to be in there, wouldn't he? Bubba and Phil. Who else? Oh, well, you got to have you got to have Tiger in there. Uh, I mean, if you could, you'd want Chi-Chi and Trevino. They still got every trick in the book between them. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe somebody like uh, you know I don't know I don't know about Rory I don't know if Rory's got any tricks up his sleeve but yeah, yeah some guys can do some right. amazing stuff with the wedges. Rory's trick is to stay on the golf course not walk off. Finally, he I think he learned his lesson, don't you? Yeah, I think so. You know, everyone can relate to what Rory went through except for the part where somebody gave him two hundred fifty million dollars, but. You're playing bad. You haven't got a clue what's wrong with your swing. You're eight over par in the front nine. You're going to shoot an embarrassingly bad score. You just want to get out of there. And, you know, it just so happens he's the number one player in the world when that happened. Uh, he, he, you know, the great thing about Rory is he came down to Terrell and said, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. He apologized. You know, that's all we want. I mean, people don't care if you mess up. Just make a sincere apology afterwards and move on. I mean, even if it's a half sincere apology, uh, you remember Andy Pettit saying, "Well, I only used uh, I only used the steroids once to try to get healthier, better. I, so I quit using them right away because I did." You know, I don't believe that for a second. But you know, at least he admitted something, so everybody's good with Andy Pettit, Roger Clemens, and these other guys. You know, forget them. They they tried to stonewall everybody. So Rory's a nice kid, a normal guy. Everybody everybody likes them, and when you like somebody, you you, you cut them a break. And that's that's how it works. And Rory is smart with the media that way. We're talking with Gary Van Sickle, Sports Illustrated. Gary Tom Schmitz here. You got the, listen to this leaderboard: Tiger Woods, Sergio Garcia, Graham McDowell, Bubba Watson, Hunter Mahan, Phil Mickelson, Steve Stricker, Ian Poulter. Is this what the World Golf Classic adds to the PGA Tour? It gives you the type of leaderboards that are sexy that the average fan wants to see every weekend. Well, right, exactly, buddy. It's exactly what it's for. The World Golf Championships are for people who maybe really don't like golf that much. They just like the big names. Well, they pretty much, you know, invite only big names, along with a couple of half a dozen guys who were thrown in there. There's only 70-some guys there. It's half a field. But you're almost guaranteed to have somebody you've heard of on the leaderboard because that's all, that's all who gets invited. So it's kind of like all-star golf. Now, I have a problem. I, I think, you know, tournament's a lot more exciting if there's at least 120, 130, 140 guys because these guys are so good. You know, any of them can shoot 63 at a given day, and there's just more excitement. But this is this is showcase golf. It's stars only. It's kind of a super tour is what it is, you know, and that's kind of the way golf is. You know, they're, they're sneaking up. They've thrown one of these in in China. they got another one in uh, the Middle East. You know, be, before we know, we're going to look up. We're going to have twelve or fifteen World Golf Championship events, and that's all t- guys like Tiger and Phil are going to play in. And they're not going to play any of the regular tour events. It's going to be a super tour. That's the way it's headed because that's what TV wants, and TV has all the money and calls the shots. But yeah, it's a very it's a very attractive TV show when you have all these big name players playing, and they've they, they, they certainly has accomplished accomplished that part of the mission. It hasn't accomplished the part of where the tournament's important, but to accomplish the part where it's good TV because it's got a lot of famous names in it. You're spot on, Gary, and uh, Gary Van Sickle, Sports Illustrated. With that, I think that's what's happening in college football. I've said for years, we're going to wind up with a Super League. And they're going to sort of grind this thing out. Let's face it, the good players play their own Super League anyway. They only play their 18 20 tournaments or whatever it is. That's right, and you know, it, it They've already figured out the way around. You know, the NCAA is probably never going to get around to having a playoff system in Division One football. But you've already seen – they've already figured a way around it. You're going to have four super conferences with 20 teams each. They're each going to have a conference championship game. That's your playoff. And then those four winners will be invited to the semifinal and the final. And there's your playoff system. It's done. It's right. just, 
first we got to get rid of these other conferences that don't matter and build these four super conferences. I mean, you're to tell me the Big Ten's not going to have 20 teams in five years, and the, the SEC, they're all going to have 20 teams, and that's going to be your, your, your national championship's going to have to come from, champions going to have to come from one of those conferences because uh, all the good teams are going to be in. I and mean, if, if you're on the outside looking in, you're in trouble. Well, it's funny you mention that because today there's a story about the Big East talking about a new name for a football conference. How do you like this name? America 12 Conference. America 12 Conference. That's the name the Big East is looking I'm at. I'm not here to think, fellas. Yeah, it, it's uh, America 12 Conference is the new name of the, the Big East they're talking about for football. You hear me okay there, Gary? Yeah, we lost Gary. I think we lost yeah. Gary. Right. But anyway, so thanks, Gary. Gary Van Sickle, Sports Illustrated. Apologize if you hear me now for the difficulty. Sometimes it happens. Hello. Oh, are you there, Gary, still? JJ, you have to step in there and tell him, okay? He can't hear us. All right. Thanks, All right. Thank you, Gary. Gary. Appreciate that. Yeah, this America 12 Conference uh, is uh, is the current favorite of this Big East uh, Conference football schedule. Um, and uh, this is what they're talking about. The, the law firm... Uh, Apparently registered uh, the name uh, America 12 Conference, America 12 Conference dot com, and America 12 dot com. So not a bad, it's not a bad name. Uh, and the biggest got to do something because the basketball schools are all taken off. But football, <clears throat> seven the Catholic schools, of course, we know they're leaving June 30 to start their new conference, uh, and uh, they're going to keep the Big East name. Apparently, I, I like know, America so. 12 better than Big East. I do too. I think it's a cool name. It's a little bit presumptuous, however, because but now there's seven nice. Catholic schools get to keep the name Big East, right? That's what it says here. Right. Catholic, seven Catholic schools leaving the league on June. This is basketball now. You get to start a new com and June twenty start a new conference and keeping the Big East name. Well, I like That's how right. you know. Finally, these conferences are like, listen, this looks idiotic with our dumb regional based names and with our teams everywhere. So let's just call it America. <laughs> America well, that's 12. exactly right. And what they are is they're not conferences. I've said this a thousand times in the last 20 years. It's an alliance, you know. It's an alliance with teams, and it's not geography. They just get together and say, we're going to call ourselves. It's like a division, a big division is what it's like. And then, like Gary said, they'll, all three, they'll get to the, they'll get to the, to their playoffs, and they'll get to get to their conference championship, and then their playoffs, and they'll get you know, the, the final four will tee it up. So, there you go. All right, great. Let's take a break here. We'll take a break, come back. We're going to talk to Franz Baird on the other side. I appreciate Gary Van Sickle. Sorry about that uh, phone difficulty there, but Gary Van Sickle from Sports Illustrated. Time out on Buddy Sports Page right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com, the source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where visitors are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. Call your good neighbor's State Farm agent today, Angie Lewis, at 294-2444. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. I want to tell you about a conversation I had recently with General Manager Pat Murray on the great family atmosphere at Country Club of Ocala. It's a family first club. Um, again, we, you know, we, we, we have any number of different types of memberships, but obviously the, the, the one that attracts the greatest level of interest is our family. And the reason for that is we have a little something for everybody. I mean, we have, we obviously have a world-class golf course. Um, we have uh, seven tennis courts here for all levels of uh, tennis players. We have a junior Olympic size swimming pool. We have the, uh, we have a fitness center that's, that's second to none. And we have uh, state-of-the-art equipment in our fitness center. Country Club of Ocala, where the facilities are all a family would ever need. For more information, call today at 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala. 
proud sponsor of Monday's Gator Report and Gator Talk Thursday right here on The Source. If you want to avoid getting ripped off and put more money in your pocket, then join me, Clark Howard, every weeknight at 6, right here on WOCA The Source. Uh, the sound of the bat cracking, the crowd cheering, the smell of overpriced but tasty hot dogs, the memories that will last a lifetime of your first baseball game with little Johnny. Your team wins. It was a great night until you get home. It's 9 p.m. and your wife says you have no water. We have no water. What do you do? What do you do? Rule number one, don't panic. Remain calm. Okay, that's two rules. We don't have time for jokes, funny man. Okay, think back. On the way home, you heard a radio commercial. Mike's got plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Eureka, you saved the day. You remembered that Mike Scott Plumbing doesn't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. You are a genius. Hey, Mr. Genius, did you remember the phone number? Of course you did. Remember, you're a genius. 352-237-2888. Because at Mike Scott Plumbing, if water runs through it, we do it. Even if water's not running through it at this particular moment. Mike Scott Plumbing. Call me crazy. Some people say insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. I think insanity is 1,000 single-sided, full-color business cards for 15 bucks, or packing service for 50% off. Call me crazy. (laughs) Green Street Printing, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street, 789-6683. That's 789-6683. Look for the yellow signs. Hi, I'm Russ with Climate Control Mechanical Services, and I want to invite you to tune in every Thursday at 10.30 a.m. to listen for tips and answers to the many questions you may have about your air conditioning and heating for your home or business. The Climate Control Show, every Thursday at 10.30 a.m., right here on WOCA, 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Hi, I'm Ernie Sprantz. Join me weekday mornings at 1050 for Report to Consumers. Consumer news you can use from your hometown station. News Talk 1370, WOCA. WOCA, News Talk 1370. Good talk, great conversation. Hi, welcome back to the program called The Voice of the Company, Mark, the sports page. A few little items we'll clean up here before we go to Franz Beard. We told you about Mariano Rivera. He'll be retiring, announcing his retirement Saturday at the end of the season. Tiger is uh, leading on down Doral. I guess there was even a tie now. I forget. It's all tied. All Tiger right now. Um, no, he's tied. He's tied right the now. Five way tie. Here's one I hadn't seen before. Boise, remember the controversy about the blue uniforms and the blue field? Well, guess what? The NCAA nix the rule and they can wear all blue on blue down Boise so it made no sense that was a dumb rule I didn't think any Boise players were going to get lost in the field it is a visual thing in a way but it's hard to see on, it may be hard on TV but not when you're actually on the field playing well, the field doesn't make any difference for, yeah I mean there was a time when they used to have helmets used to have some special on the back of their heads they have a special like a little logo so they could be recognized by the quarterbacks. The problem with that today is a lot of, a lot of receivers don't turn their backs to the quarterback. They're, sometimes they're, to, they're facing the quarterback, running a little out route or something, too. So, But, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, it's probably a good thing they didn't do it. And uh, interesting, though, that they nixed it. After all that, they nixed the rule. Huh? Well, there was no advantage. The NCAA was saying they were getting an advantage. It, was, it may be difficult for the home viewer to watch with the blue on blue on the TV screen, but trust me, on the football field, they weren't hiding in the field. It they were standing wasn't upright. even the NCAA. It was actually their conference. That was, they could only not wear the uniforms in conference play. It was going to be but the, the rule. But the NCAA nixed it. Okay. Right. No, so they, they wear them anywhere. Them. Yeah. By the way, uh, remember Michael Jordan had a special reason for getting that paternity suit behind him. He's applied. He's applied for a marriage license. Apparently, he's appearing to get ready to get married again. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I think that would, that would not go down well to know that he had a kid someplace else. Apparently, a uh, spokeswoman for the clerk's office in Palm Beach says uh, uh, Gordon had gotten engaged to his longtime girlfriend, Cuban-American model Yvette Prieto, 
we got a picture of her. She's a very attractive lady, as you might expect. So, <laughs> well, apparently, you have. I wouldn't think Jordan them, would be with anything less. They're going to they get till May 9th to use a marriage license. So that's his second marriage. Of course, he married Juanita Vinoy in 1989. Well, uh, something else going down in South Florida that's not real good. You know that Miami pretty much traded the season away and said we're not going to win this season by giving all their good players to the Toronto Blue Jays. Not according to Lurie. <laughs> well, now they still need to get fans in the seat. So how are they going to do it? Well, they're offering a buy one, get one free ticket, hmm. buddy. If you so buy I a ticket, that's like Publix. <laughs> right. If you buy a ticket to the opening day game against the Braves, they'll give you a free ticket to a game of your choice in April or May. Uh, Mike Oz of Yahoo uh, Big League Stew said it sounds very minor league, does it? doesn't it? But really, the whole thing makes sense. The Marlins are going to have a lot of empty seats this season. We live in the Groupon era. We're getting a deal. Guys buying the seasons might as well give some tickets away. What do the Marlins have to lose? Oh, wait, their dignity. But wait, this just in. The Marlins have traded their dignity to Toronto for a bucket of popcorn and $50 cash, according to Micah Oz. So, JJ, do you see a chance for the Miami Marlins to break a record this year in the major leagues by having the least amount of people show up for a baseball game? Well, the only thing they have going for them is the stadium is brand new, and it looked like there's a lot of other non-baseball related activities to do. You know, they even had like a nightclub there, pool, stuff like that. Less so if people do go, there, there's more reason to go there than some of those Marlin teams back when they were playing at Sun Life Stadium. Well, you know? less than 5,000 season tickets sold. So, you know, not looking good for the Marlins. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Franz Beard talking to the University of Florida basketball program, clinching the SEC title, the regular season title last night with a win against Vanderbilt. And it didn't come easy. Vanderbilt played. It was an ugly, ugly game in the first half. We'll talk to friends about that next on Buddy Sports Page on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com, the source. Hi, I'm Lisa Midget with Kinetic Motion Fitness, Ocala's premier small group and personal training fitness studio. Did you know you can achieve all your fitness goals? Whether that's losing weight, getting fit, or training for a personal best, all with no membership fees? Have you ever been embarrassed or intimidated at a big gym because you're not a Greek god or a size zero supermodel? Have you ever felt like your gym would rather you not even show up? At KMF, we have a team approach that focuses on small classes and personal training, and you'll feel like family, not just another number. No more boring treadmills or endless reps. Our classes are fun, energetic, and get you the results you want. And I should know, with the help of our great trainers, I lost over 100 pounds in eight jean sizes, and I did it using no heavy equipment and no magic pills, just fun and effective workouts. And yes, I did say fun. Come join us at KMF. Visit our website at kmfocala.com or like us on Facebook. Again, that was kmfocala.com. Course bank approval. Vehicle purchase cross fixed credit allowance offers no combined. Are you bored, tired, and disgusted with your old car? Hey, this is Cupid, Chris Spears from Prestige Auto Sales. I want you to love your car, so trade in the old car you hate. Even if you're still making payments. Even if you owe more than it's worth. And I'll help you drive a nicer, newer car sooner than you ever thought possible. Plus, when you use your tax refund as a down payment, you'll get a lot nicer, newer car. So you can hook up with a car you love today. Bad credit? Cupid got you down? Our For The People credit approval specialists are world-class matchmakers. They'll connect you with the lender most likely to approve your loan. Hate your old car? Dump it and fall in love with a nicer, newer car today, even if you have more than it's worth or are still making payments. Plus, turn your tax refund into your down payment and save a lot on a car you'll love. Hurry, this love fest ends when we match 57 people with a car of their dreams. I'm Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit me in Ocala or Bellevue. Online at PrestigeSaysYes.com. Or call 694-1234. See you at Prestige. Don't get caught in the dark. Call Tri-County Generators, LLC, first at 1-800-622-1957, your authorized Generac dealer. Tri-County Generators are there when you need them with new generators for home standby, commercial, RV, and portable generators. They also service your existing systems. Now is the time to act. Be prepared before you have an emergency. Call Mike Gant today at 1-800-622-1957. That's 1-800-622-1957 for Tri-County Generators. Good credits, bad credits. 
It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offered is not include dealer upcharge. Undercoating rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Every day we hear another story about innovation or about cutting-edge technology taking place right here in Ocala. The power plant, IHMC, Ocala 489. Did you know that important medical research is also being conducted here that may impact hundreds of thousands of people in the country someday? Maybe you've heard the name Renstar, but like so many others, perhaps you didn't realize that Renstar Medical Research is one of the top facilities of its kind anywhere in the U.S. There are important research studies being conducted by a highly qualified team of medical experts at Renstar in Impacting decisions of major pharmaceutical companies and bringing new drugs to market. And you can be a part of these studies, as so many local people have done and are currently doing. Renstar has conducted more than 500 studies since its inception and would like to extend the opportunity to you to be a part of these cutting-edge programs. Call 877-629-5800 or 352-629-5800 if you'd like to know more. Renstar Medical Research, locally owned and operated in beautiful downtown Ocala. Renstar, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Thought of us barefoot kids in the young man he sees We were just petty snakes in the barn Now you call the in the snakes I can use a little help on the We're back on Buddy Sports Days live from the Country Club of Ocala Right now we're joined by Franz Beer with Gator Talk Thursday Brought to you by Country Club of Ocala Franz, last night at the University of Florida clinched the regular season title for the SEC uh, for this year, doing it with a win over Vanderbilt. My question to you real cool, as we start is in the first half of last night, it looked like the University of Florida was trying to get Patrick Young going. Patrick Young was the focal point of the offense for about the first 10 minutes of the game and then he just went away from being the focal point. Was that because of Patrick Young's doing or was something seen by the coaching staff to change it up? Well, it's because they saw him trying to get him the ball. And, and uh, you know, when you work the ball to the guy, of course, they give Vanderbilt some credit. They adjusted their defense, too. Uh, it took Florida a while to figure out what they were do- what they were doing, give Kevin Stallings credit for a, a really good game plan. It really uh, uh, tested Florida as far as getting the ball moving to the right places. But in the second half, they started finding the holes in that defense, and there's holes in every defense. It's just, you know, the question is, can you find the can you find the holes before it's too late? And the Gators did. Well, it looked like to me last night as I was watching when either Patrick Young or Eric Murphy would go out of the game, and Will You Get would come back in. That You Get still is trying to fill his way through and find his way through. How important is Will You Get and him finding some? Fluid, some fluid movements in this offense. How important is that to how far the Gators progress in the tournament? Oh, it's very, it, it's very important. But I think we saw that about the last eight minutes. He had a had a couple of uh, of, uh, of plays where he really, really uh, did well on the defensive end, and then you know had a great rebound, and then he had a, had a little up and under move off of a nice feed from uh, Scotty Wilkinson. Had another had another score too. So I, I think I think he kind of got back into the flow of things in about the last seven or eight minutes of the game. Um, now all of a sudden I think they've got an eight-man rotation again. Uh, Frazier had 6.6 6, six rebounds in there. Prather did what Prather does, which is you know just play play wherever you need him. Uh, I think the Gators have an eight-man rotation now, and I think that that. Uh, this is going to be a team that is really, really going to be tough to deal with for anybody down the stretch. Well, they got they got Kentucky coming up this weekend at Kentucky, then the SEC tournament. How important is it that the Gators at least get to the championship of the SEC tournament? I think they need to win two games in the SEC tournament. Uh, I, I'd really like to see them win two. Uh, get to the championship game would be would be important to them. I think that you know. I think for their own confidence, I think it would be great for them to win it for their confidence, for their momentum. Because if they if they can knock off, if they can go ahead and knock off Kentucky Saturday, then go out there and and go three and zero in the SEC in the SEC tournament. That would that would give them a, a very nice 
five-game winning streak going into the NCAA tournament. And I think that would be ideal for them. And, and let's, let's remember something, too. Florida always has difficulties at the end of February. They lost two of their last three. They lost, they lost their last three in the championship season in 2006. They, uh, they, they also uh, had a three-game losing uh, streak uh, before they won their last two in right. 2007. It's not uncommon for the Gators. I think well, the ship's right it. I think they're going to do well. First time they had their full team since December 29th of 2012. First time last night they had it all available. Franz Beard, thanks so much for joining us on Gator Talk Thursday. Thanks. So, University of Florida, looking forward to it. Let's take, take our guest, Kathy, from the Marion County Parks and Recreation. She talked in to tell us about some of their programs. Steve Albright, Marion County Golfer of the Year. He stopped in with his friend telling us all about what to look forward to and the member guests here at the at Country Club Vocal and Lloyd Martin Gregory with her Healthy Living segment. There, Gary Van Sickle from Sports Illustrated, and of course, Franz Beard. And don't forget Coach Tim Ryan, the CF Patriots. For my partner back in the uh, studio, JJ LaSalle and Buddy Martin, I'm Tom Smith. Saying, Have a great evening, everybody. You've been listening to The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. Remember also to tune in every morning to listen to AM Ocala Live with Robin and Larry right here on The Source. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz, the host of Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports, from NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly Are You Kidding Me rant? So join me and JJ LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. Every day we hear another story about innovation or about cutting-edge technology taking place right here in Ocala. The power plant, IHMC, Ocala 489. Did you know that important medical research is also being conducted here that may impact hundreds of thousands of people in the country someday? Maybe you've heard the name Renstar, but like so many others, perhaps you didn't realize that Renstar Medical Research is one of the top facilities of its kind anywhere in the U.S. There are important research studies being conducted by a highly qualified team of medical experts at Renstar in impacting decisions of major pharmaceutical companies and bringing new drugs to market. And you can be a part of these studies, as so many local people have done and are currently doing. Renstar has conducted more than 500 studies since its inception and would like to extend the opportunity to you to be a part of these cutting-edge programs. Call 877-629-5800 or 352-629-5800 if you'd like to know more. Renstar Medical Research, locally owned and operated in beautiful downtown Ocala. Renstar, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. How good does it get? Golf has long been considered to be sport's most prestigious game, and WOCA has your connection to everything in the golf world. Every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m., tune in for Let's Talk Golf with your host, PGA professional and teacher to the stars, Jim Beckett, and operations manager for the links of Spruce Creek South, Darren Irwin, right here on The Source. Hello? Can you hear me? Because if you can, then so can your customers. Radio works. Call today to advertise your business right here on WOCA 1370, The Source. WOCA! Gillies! Gillies! Yes, George? Do you know I'm a truck driver now? What? I call Devin South Store.